What it do, what it do, we want to welcome you all to episode 25, you're all tuned in, G's Mystery Show, Our World Revealed, I'm your host G, and I'm sitting next to 5DZ, the most electrifying man in streets and neighborhoods, what it do? You heard it here first, Bob, yeah, yeah. what it do man? You know, another day in paradise. <laughs> hey, that's what it is man, how was your week, as always? Oh man, it was, it was cool, went cool. by quick as hell. Gotcha. So you got the do rag on, man. You and your gangster shit tonight. Oh nah, shit, nigga, just bad hair day. Nigga need hair. <laughs> That's what they call it, man. My fucking hair all fucked up under yeah. there. But you got a bowl cut. Uh, fade. Fade. Yeah. <laughs> shit. That's crazy. Let me ask you, man. You know the week went by kind of quick. At the same time, you know, Lakers lost, Clippers lost, the Suns. Lost. What, what do you think about that? Ah, uh, shit. Wasn't no shocker to me. No, you. you I, no, I had the Bucks and six. You had the Bucks and six. Yeah. You had the Bucks and six. Yeah, won my money back. <laughs> okay. Shit. That's what's up. That's so you had no faith in Chris Paul. Oh no, nah, the basketball God's been against him since he came into the league. Mm. I mean, if you, if you are a basketball bravado, I mean, you know this. You know, shit. I'm more of a MMA fan now, but the basketball, I'm kind of catching back up. I mean, you don't think that Chris Paul, with the little help of Booker, was even enough to get over that hump? No. It was supposed to be on paper. Yeah. On, on paper, everybody says so. They were the favorites. They were the favorites. I mean, to me, they were the favorites, but I think that probably Milwaukee was probably the actual national favorites. More experience. And, and, and plus, uh, in the NBA playoff uh, gig, finals, game, or whatever, the way it goes, you got to go through trials and tribulations yeah, before you That's just true. get that ring. I mean, but, but Chris Paul did go through trials and tribulations. Nah, you think Giannis not, not went through? Yeah. You think Giannis went through more trials and tribulations? They got swept last year. Yeah, but they he got went, swept last year. But he went. Then they lost. That's what I'm saying. You got to get that experience. That's real trial and tribulation. Okay, you got to get there saying. to lose. I see what you're saying. You got to get there to feel the pain. That's like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that one year when the Lakers lost. Nigga, Kobe cried on the sideline watching all that confetti come down for the other team. Real Man, shit. No, I, I, it, it hurts. You got to remember hurt. that feeling. That so when hurt. you get back there, you know what I'm saying, history doesn't repeat itself. Mm. Yeah, I heard it there and first. That's, just, that's exactly what happened. Most electrifying men in streets and neighborhoods gave a perfect sports analysis. Uh, live from the skybox. Skybox open up. Oh, man. Coming to a town near you. Ooh-wee. Can't wait to see that. You know... <sighs> Five, a, a, a lot, you know. What I mean, has happened, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna change it up a little bit tonight because uh, it appears that the one thing that we're not allowed to say on this show too much, which we somehow end up saying a lot about it, anyways. Mm-hmm. We're gonna talk about a lot of that tonight. It's a lot of it in the news. Um, it's, yeah, it's shit is everywhere. It's it's everywhere. Yeah, shit is back up and running. And we're going to try to. Uh, we're also going to try to cut it short because we are also are pressed for time. We do apologize for the late start. Um, we also have D Lee in the actual chat saying Chris Paul's first finals. That's true, first finals. <laughs> like but sometimes yeah, the first, first finals you can, first, you can you can do it on your first finals. Yeah, first one and only. No, no, Magic Johnson. Hmm. Magic Johnson. Hey, he's an exception. I mean, you see, yeah, but I mean, but shit, he had Kareem. He had James Worthy. Booker, he had Booker, he Aiden. Had, he had Wilt. Uh, he had. Whew. I mean, Lakers had a squad yeah, when, when a squad. Magic came into the league. They had a squad. Yeah, they, they had, had a, squad. a squad. Well, let me go ahead and finish making this announcement. Uh, just so to give our audience a heads up, I know you guys have gotten used to Fridays around six thirty, at clockwork, but we are. Attempting to probably change it up to where if you all are willing, we're going to move it over to Sunday. Yes, Sunday. At what time Sunday? Sunday sometime during no games or during the game. Well, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad we negotiated this because, shit, I work. Oh, I, thought, I thought that we was going to change that. I mean, uh, we, we, we'll yeah, talk I about see that how later. you thought that. All I, you did, I, was, suge- all yeah, you did I, was put a suggestion. I, I thought that was, that, the, that, I thought that was the suggestion. Yeah, it was a suggestion. Oh, so you're not that, ready to you're not ready to move. A, to, I didn't know it was a fact. Okay, well let's do it live on air. You're not ready to move nah. to Sundays. No, nah, let's keep I, it Friday. Nah, that shit gone. 
what's going on in the figure? We'll, it's gonna we'll, we'll keep it that. We'll keep it, we'll keep it like that. that. That's why I said. Live saying. on the air. Yeah, hash why would you? Hey, I, I was going to do it the Sundays because, like I said, it's hard trying to keep this deadline on a Friday, especially because of the news and a lot of things that happen um, during the week. Like right now, I guarantee you, once we get off the show, there's going to be some news that we were supposed to cover that we wasn't able to cover at the time because it's happening well, live. That don't make no live. sense because news happens every day. That's Saturday, right. Saturday, Sunday. That's day, right. And that's matter. why I like to capture the full week of the news. You see, well, Friday we get cut short two days well, because you, a lot of shit happens on well, Friday, you, Saturday, well, and technically Sunday. technically you can do that. I do it every if week. you do. I do, but it's an overlap. You know, and I, I, you know, and I, I, I do want to always stay ahead of the curve. But again, Jane. we are. I know we are only a once a week show, so it is what it is. So at that point, you know, I mean, what else can we do? What do you mean? You trying it? I'm trying to shift it, but you don't want to. You want to stay here on Fridays, niggas going that. out to the clubs. That. I didn't say that. You know, that's that's that's. Uh, it's anyhow. I, I said. I thought we were supposed to negotiate that. We'll negotiate it. I didn't know we were just going to do that right here and there. Hey, I didn't know anything was final. Hey, life is about spur the moment. I thought I was reading a suggestion. I didn't know I was reading permanent... Permanent ink. No, well, it's not permanent ink. That was just a suggestion. Live on air. I, I can that. read it back to you. Oh, no, that's okay. I thought I was going to roll over and just do it the Sunday because you was cool with it. But no, okay. Let's go ahead. It's two. How did you know no, I was it's, cool it's a, with it's a two-headed monster, nigga. I thought that yeah, you was right here. I thought I was reading your mind, but no, obviously you was clouded. Oh. You was clouded. What you drinking? Wait, bro? you thought what you, drinking? you was that's... reading my mind, but I was clouded. Did you hear that? Yeah, you was clouded because I couldn't read it. You supposed to be so, the two headed monster. I thought we was right there. Dog. You so, on the other side. So that's my fault because you couldn't read it. I it got I got a clear mind. <laughs> I got a clear mind. You got a clear mind. But let's go ahead and get into this five. You know, um, this guy. This guy. I, I. Hey. I mean, I thought you was willing and ready to go ahead, man, and and move on to a sure. Thing. Shit. But but we'll, I mean yeah, you can cover that day shit. You know, <laughs> that seventy five dollars a day. Hey, I heard the hell out of that. But now we'll talk about that on another. Uh, got no scene. problem with it. I heard that because you can't put me. I put you on the spot, but I can't lie. You put me on the spot like that. One. You know what I mean? But I got it goes you. Goes around, comes, comes around. around. Ooh, he slap on the face. You better believe it. Each one, teach one. Let's go ahead and get into. Jeez, 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 And this. All right, all right. Up first, NG's news report. It appears, it appears that we do have um, a little technical difficulties with Where? the file. It's actually playing. All right, so yeah, that's that's why we're going to have to actually um, set it up. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get into this. A lot of people have been basically saying, hey, G, get into some of that nigga news. You know, you said that you wanted to cover some nigga news, right, Fire? You said you went to Yeah, the I don't know if I put it exactly like that, but yeah. I mean, you I don't believe. probably say nigga news. I, I mean, of course, you, I would say Negroid, you said. I, but oh. I did think last week you said, yeah, you would cover some nigga news. But then I've been getting some a few messages mm -hmm. to where people are saying, G, can you cover some of the at least what I call nigga news, but uh, you know, a lot of those things I try to stay out of because we like to touch a lot of alternative, mysterious, conspirator, other news topics. But at the same time, I guess some of this nigga shit can make it up here, right? Man, I don't it, see why not. Why not? You, you, you think it's time for some nigga shit? But I, that's a different world. But let's get into it. Are you aware of Almighty J and Skinny from the nine. What? <laughs> yeah, uh, that doesn't that doesn't sound. The fuck? Too... That, shit. You you don't. That, this motherfucker look like shit. Uh, uh, like he playing a, a role in a vampire movie or some shit. Like, you you talking about the, the Takashi two point oh or yeah. I wouldn't even say two point oh. He's probably zero point yeah. five, and then you have Almighty J. Uh, no, I never heard. You never heard of any no. any of these artists. No. Mm. Is that Jason rings sounds a little bit familiar, but yeah, yeah, he, I, ain't, he, I ain't fucking with him. You're not fucking with him, even no. even though you never heard any of their songs. You're not fucking. No, that's with what him. I'm saying. I ain't I ain't fucking with him to to hear anything. Okay, all right. Well, 
first of all, these two, the reason why they made news tonight, and especially some of this nigga news, which y'all want. <laughs> AKA his version of hip hop, y'all. <laughs> hey, hip hop is nigga no. shit. That's that nigga shit. Formerly known as YBN Almighty J and Skinny from the Nine, like I said, the 0.5 Takashi. He's uh, something similar to a Takashi. Okay. Although he may be, I don't know if he's just a little bit more active, as in, no, nah, I won't even say oh that. No, nah, I right. won't even say that. He's not even. I oh, boy on the right? That. Yes. The, yeah, it's okay. only. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and so these two have been going at it for as, a few years. As about I it. see with the, with the blonde hair and the rosy lips. Mm -hmm. Well, at one time, he had the, he had the colorful hair, too. Oh, okay. You know, he was kind of doing the whole thing. Matter of fact, I think he actually. And he hardcore, huh? Uh, yeah, remember, his name is Skinny from the Nine. Skinny <laughs> from the Nine. Six Nine. Skinny from the Nine. Six Nine. Trey Nine. Or what was that called? Oh. Treyway? You know, anyhow. Uh, like I said, it's a bunch of controversial stuff, whether he's blood or he's not. Or five, a lot of people want to be a blood. Yeah, it's, is that's that a, that's the trend? The I mean, just like when shit, when the Crips was hot, everybody named Mama wanted to be a Crip. So yeah. shit, is it is it still more Crips than Bloods in in the nation? Uh, or is it about equal? Well, it, it it depends on where you at. You know, out here in the West, shit, it's. It's two to one, Crips. or it's Crips, and then you head out on the East Coast. Yeah, it's, it's three, three to one, blood. Bloods. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can dig it. Yeah. So now, what do you think about rappers socializing themselves with that oh, man. crowd? Is, I don't, I don't get is it. Is it a I need? Uh, yeah, it's a need to fit in and say, hey, look at me. You know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a gangster too. I'm, I'm hard too, but you know. I don't understand why they wait till they down there, what, 25, 30 years old, start saying, hey, I'm from here, knowing damn well you not, you know, but to each his own. But what makes them from there, growing up, not living just around? Not just shit, they money, they, they fame, and, and niggas from the hood is doing what they, what they been doing as far as getting money. But now they don't have to, they don't have to really take it from nobody, they don't got a jacket from nobody, because mm. you got this, you got this square that's so, that's glorifying the hood shit so bad, he wanna fit in, so he's saying, hey, here you go, come come rock with me, come come to my show. Come so let me, let me, let me interject, that, Who, that who's bullshit. at fault now? Is it the character or the so-called gangsters that's allowing it to happen? It ain't, it ain't no fault because like I said, they doing what they, they they've do. been doing. Mm -hmm. As far as you know, what I'm saying extortion, and get money. Yeah, you know, that's, they that's, do. That's Take it, nigga. Give me the money, and, and then but then and, they get played. In the and end. as far as the artist is concerned, shit, it's only tricking if you ain't got it. So, and they and most of them have it. Yeah, so, they so pay it. It, it is what it is. So it's like it, like let me give you an example like like Chris Breezy, man. Well, follow, no, 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 no. Hold on. Look, before we before we even spin off on that because that'll turn into another conversation. Oh. Let's stick on oh. Skinny from the Nine yeah. <laughs> and Almighty J. Okay. <laughs> Skinny from the Nine and Almighty J been having a beef. They actually are pretty big inside this uh, young era. You know, their names actually ring bells. Maybe because you're a little older, I'm a little older, but because I'm actually, I have to stay in tune to all of this shit. Like I said, it's that nigga shit that y'all want. They've been beefing. So I have to ask you five. Sometimes is it best to shoot it out or duke it out? Which one? Shit. I mean, if it gets to that, it depends on what level it is. Shit, if it's if it's to that to that toy level, shit, it is what it is. But what about if it is at the toy level? Because any you never know what the other person's thinking. But then well, you shit, say, you hey thinking, man, you I want to be thinking the same shit. If he if he really with it, I mean, it's been in, been on both sides of, the, of that coin. So now, if a person's really with it with with the with the gun play, shouldn't they be with it with the hand play as well? Yeah. I mean that 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 came before the gunplay. I mean somebody at some point somebody couldn't take that ass whooping. So now somebody couldn't say, well, okay, you know what I'm saying? You did that, mm -hmm. and then you know if you come back from for another round, okay, maybe I won this one, and now he can't take it. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, I'm getting shot at. So it, it happens. So does so does fighting or squashing your beefs? Does it? Settle it at all if you are able to chuck it out and whoever loses loses and whoever wins wins. Yeah, but it, 
But it depends on both individuals. Like it, it, it depends on on both individuals. And by the look at uh, at these young cats, they they ignorant. They trying to prove a point, especially to their fan base. Yeah. So which one? Which one you think if they actually brawl? Since you don't know anything about any of this that's going on, so if you thought that they was to brawl, looking at them, who would you think would win the brawl? It's 50-50. I don't, I don't fuck with either one of them to put my money on either one of them, so I would just have to sit back and watch. Gotcha. With that being said, man, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this. I wasn't going to comment on the situation because I'm all about positivity, but the dude that hit me is a straight bitch. He came up to me while I was eating at a restaurant by myself with a girl and was like, yo, I know you eating right now, but can we take a picture? I got up, put my arm around him like we was going to take a picture, like we were posing, and the dude snuck me. And then we started wrestling, and that's what happened. Aw, oh, man, y'all know it. Y'all see this white background? Y'all know it ain't no good when y'all see this white background. What's up, niggas, man? Guess what? These niggas is getting they caught and getting they beat. All that talking on the internet niggas be doing, they gonna have to see about that in person. Yo, he be on the internet. Yo, they be on the internet, like, disrespecting each other. <laughs> Who is it? Skinny from the nine and all my UK. And YBN nigga, YBN. Remember her? He was in YBN. Where's my other phone? So, I have to ask you. Did you, did you able to see that clear? Yeah, I seen that. Who, who, who do you saw get the best of who and who Got the worst end of that scene. Well, according to the brother, like he said, all that, all that, and I'm with that. You know, all that internet banging. Eventually, that should have, that should have catch up with you. While you thinking you got a, a hundred and one telephone poles between y'all, hey, yeah, this is a small world. You know, mm. and 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 they just catch you, man. And rock yeah. that snot box. Most definitely. Before I, we, I'm, I'm one of them. He said, "Rock that." Yeah. Ain't that what Hassan I, Campbell say? Rock that snot block. The snot box. I don't. You, <laughs> yeah, Hassan Campbell. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. serious. It's all good. Peace and love to my guy over there. That's what's up. Ain't no hate over there. You know what I mean? Same time, just chill out a little bit. At the end of the day, what's up, Nakia? What's up, D Lee? You know what I mean? We see y'all out there. Appreciate that. Much love and respect for tuning in to G's hey, Mystery hey. Show. Our world revealed. Um, if you guys want to call in, the number is on the screen, 951-799-9021. If you are trying to participate, you can get into that chat room, talk your shit. Maybe we'll reply, maybe we won't. Or you can call in and get live and direct. That's what King Erner says, but I'm saying it now. And at the same time, you may even win that chance to play Call It Like It Is. You know how we do if you are familiar with the show, definitely. It's gonna, it's gonna get real. <laughs> you know, it's, already, it's already real because he knocked his ass with that left hook, and and that's why I say <laughs> he caught him. And yeah, it, it, is is that enough? Does the beef stop there? I mean, if, if old boy can take an ass whooping, you know what I'm saying? If he just realized he had to eat his words, well, his Texas or you know what I'm saying his tweets or whatever, you know, and and, and let it be. Okay. You know, and own that shit. That's okay. that's how you become solid. So, I mean, even though, like, so by them duking it out, does that make them actually, both solid, or does it actually, make one a winner and loser, or did they both win because I mean, they, they did what they, they did? Both solid. It, it, it's a fade. That's what it's supposed to do. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They obviously they they met up at, at a spot. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, they didn't mutually meet up at a spot. What happened was is that. Almighty J was just walking around, and he ended up spotting them. They was both going. They was both having studio sessions. Oh, okay, so like and I said, niggas, the the other eventually guy, it's a small world. Yeah, here. Skinny oh, from the so, Nine so, got so, caught walking so into the studio, to and he got that, asked to come oh, okay. out for the fade. Oh, okay. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. but he had no choice because his boys was right there, and they even say that he asked I'm his boys, "Should I fight him niggas. at this time?" I should catch up with niggas. And all you fuck boys out there, niggas, just thinking y'all just gonna keep tweeting about yes, niggas. Yeah, yeah. Niggas, that shit comes comes around. Peace. Yeah, yeah I'm one of them. We want nah, peace. You guys that. see what happened fuck or is that. what's happening in the Middle East? <laughs> and with that being said, five, let's go ahead and get into. Oh yes, who said That's the, the internet wasn't real? 
Remember the horror movie called A Nightmare on Elm Street? And for one of these new age rappers, Freddy's claw can sting in real life, showing dreams do come true if you desire it long enough. Damn it, have to ask, is the White House really debating the thought of us having to mass back up? Could it be because people who are coming down with the zombie apocalypse are still refusing to get vaccinated in the hospital bed? Hmm, I can guarantee you he will not be taking the mark of the beast and I'm willing to bet his life on it. Yes, his life. Huh? What if the platform you was creating content on could be sued for misleading health info? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this bill, it's coming. Looking up to the sky, too bad we're not in Dubai. They don't use chemtrails in the land of utopia. Nope, just drones that can shock clouds to make it pour. The hell with the rain. Yeah, NASA refuses to be upstaged and back to showing old, oops, I meant new photos of their artwork of Mars interior gushing dirt devils. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. Not to mention, the NFL continues to rule with an iron fist, no game will be rescheduled due to the forfeit. Instead, who is deemed to blame for the mishap if vaxxed? That is, not vaccinated. Then your team gets the axe. That your playoff tree has now been cut. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's talk about it. Oh yeah. Let's talk about it. So, up next in G's News, five... White House officials are now in talks debating a national masking back up, pushing as COVID, they say, is yeah. on the rise. Yeah. Um, that Delta. The strain. Delta strain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, sure. There's a lot of people out there that's that's not vaccinated. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, is back on the rise. You think it's because of them not being vaccinated, or yeah, is it because, just something because, else? Because because if you because if you if you catch it and you've been vaccinated, it's not it's not knocking you down to the point where you hospitalized or your life is threatened. But what about those so, that are getting vaccinated and and are dying? Ain't or, nobody, or ain't nobody. Nobody thinks got so nobody vaccinated, vaccinated that has passed, passed away. Passed away. You sure? Yeah, to my knowledge. Okay, well, a, a, few, a lot of a few people yeah, have, yeah. have passed away from being vaccinated, taking shots. You know yeah. what I mean? But at the same time, it, it's it's more so the agenda that's that is it does it does it steer it somewhere else when you have or to talk be about agenda mass when everybody knows it's actually killing motherfuckers. Well, only, only, if it's only, a, it only makes it an agenda because it's, it's people saying, "Hey, you you need to take this," and and that's like like any and all Americans really, all humans. You being told something, you just gonna do the opposite. That's just like if we ride in the car, and I say, "Oh, you gonna you gotta make the left right here. You gotta make the left right here." Well, and I tell you, and I tell you like three or four times. Ah, nine times out of ten, you gonna make the right anyway because you want to. Just stubborn that way. Don't want to listen. Yeah, don't want to listen. Just, but but what about just, those that do listen and end up getting fucked over in the end? At the same time, not not just that I, though, five. Let I me, mean, how's it? Let me, but how, not just that. Let's let's not even go into let's let's not even go into that 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 deep. Over yeah. than dying. Okay, yeah, exactly. What's, what's more fucked over than dying? Dying either way. So why 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 would I, why should way? I be forced to be like you? Um, what do you mean? So if you take the shot, right? Mm -hmm. Why should I be forced to take the shot? Well, because not, because you took the shot. All, no. I, all I can do, all I can do is suggest, so, just like everyone else. Well, no one is forced. Okay, well, can I get into See, this? See, that's now? that's false. No. That's false information. No, that's where you're wrong. That's so no, now, that's that's why I'm right. There's so, no one in the U.S. in at power. This, at this, no, listen. So, at this point, at this moment, okay, since the moment. vaccine has been out, no one has been forced. No American has been forced. Okay, so now you're right to a certain extent when you say. What, what extent? Okay, I'm going to tell you the extent because of since course. since 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 the actual rise of the zombie apocalypse and it has actually made its way into your place of employment, 
what, there, have, there have been measures to now give incentives for those that are trying to work yeah. to make sure they get the shot. It's yeah. also in, in federal and in some places, even when it comes to nursing and some other, other types of forms to where it's about to become a, a, a mandor, mandatory to where either you take, you have to get vaccinated or you just don't work. And so, okay, so, yeah, so, so, hold on, oh, but, but no, but you, this speaking, is, no, I, no, and, and, and you're speaking, when, and you're when speaking, when are you going to get to the point where you being forced I, I, to I'm, take it? Listen, listen, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. The, and, and, and see, you're, that, that's the, that type of thought is the reason why you get caught, because you're thinking, I'm not thinking ahead. I'm not, I'm not mean, looking, why, you're not, you're not, not looking ahead. at what's happening. If you, if. Why not? Why am I not thinking ahead? Okay, because if the you, vaccine saves your life, it saves lives. Does it save life? If, if it saves lives, yeah. Okay. Just like I just said. So if you if you get the Delta strain right now, you've already been vaccinated. Let me ask you this: If then you then you have to then you would lot, have to go. You're a lot less to be subject to be hospitalized or have your life in danger compared to a person that has not been vaccinated. And catches that Delta strand. Okay, now I'm I'm gonna okay now I'm gonna just show you or something. Any strand of it. Because see, when we when we start touching on these things and having to be masked and injected with things, this is why I say no, it's not fact, and it's it, but it is it is it is a lot based on the outcome of what you have seen come from the past of things getting caught and not it's realizing not, that you can change it before it no, happens. But when no it difference. hold on five, hold on five, be, but when it happens, then you're stuck because when. People who all accept these these injections and these these requests to get vaccinated, and they outweigh the majority of us who refuse to do it, then the eyes turn on us, and it becomes a demand to where now we are having to either survive in the society that everybody wants to live in, who is wants to be a part of the matrix, or have to find a way to live without because things are beginning to choose. be stripped. No, it's, it's not. It, I, you choose to take the shot. I choose not to. We both choose. It's All just right. that some choose to take something that I would like to pose the question to those that inject it or make it or create it. Have you taken your own serum? Have anybody asked them that? Have anybody seen them say. take so ha have they? Have you seen them take their own shot? Yeah, they. They. You know, um, a lot of the the past leaders of governments. Yeah, you know, publicly took they took their shots on national TV. You, you want to know why they did it publicly? It's called propaganda. It's called ask you what is inside that. Is that saline, salt water? What is it? Because is it what they giving you guys? Because there's three, so you got to ask them which one are they taking? Are they taking Pfizer? Are they taking Johnson and Johnson? Or are they taking Moderna? Which one are they taking? So if they disclaim one, then they're going to obviously say, "Well, I'm not taking that one." Ask them why aren't you taking that one? So the real action is the person on the screen. You know who that is, right? Yeah. Fauci, right? Mm -hmm. You think he's taking a shot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You think he's really taking this yeah. COVID vaccine shot? Yeah. Okay. This shot was, was was live on TV, right? Yeah. All of them live on TV. Not all of them. Donald Trump didn't take his. <laughs> Donald he, Watkins. He took his in private. Didn't take his shit at all. Anyhow, let, let me ask his. you. Yeah, I mean, we we we'll we'll, we'll, we'll debate his. on that one, but. I mean, you you ask, are you asking the question or are you, or are you giving me your the answer? After too? you after you give your answer, you know I have to saying? I have to I mean, give you what I doubt because if you're saying that if you you said you didn't see him take it. Didn't see who take it. Um, Trump. Yeah, nobody saw him take it. Yeah. But you said that he took it in yeah. private. Yeah. yeah he just but nobody it. saw him take it. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't do like like most like, leaders did to yeah. encourage. Right. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? The people that follow him. You know what I'm saying? His base. He didn't encourage them people to to save their lives or anything like that. He took it in private. He took his, but yeah. he took the same thing that they're taking. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, this is this is this is what. I'm getting that when we're talking about these type of things, five. And like I say, everybody has the right to their their opinion. Even some things that I'm saying is opinion. But a lot of things that I'm saying is not just like when I say it is, it's based off of what is coming. Because if anybody who literally, yeah, a lot of these people out here say they play chess, but they don't really play chess. I actually play chess. And so 
that makes and, and, oh, no, that makes my mind be able to understand to understand so I can understand the mathematics on the outcomes that the multiple outcomes that can happen from when I'm looking at you mean your hypothetical thoughts hypothetical thoughts theory yeah, of theories that's all that's all they are yes yes that's but, all they but, are because but theories that allow me to move in a way to live okay let me tell you I've been around I've been around people who had this this infection right that they call COVID. Mm -hmm. How come I haven't caught it? Because you haven't. Okay. And I don't take anything. I don't even take medicines, right? right? So why would I be forced to inject myself with something? Why is it a push to get this going and everybody's push, jumping on? Oh, there's that word again. There's that, that word. You're saying it's a push? Uh, it no, pushes you, you said force. I didn't say force. I yes, said you push. Did. You said force before you said push. Did I say force? Yes, sir. Maybe I did. If yeah. I did, somebody oh. can correct me in there. But I, I know that did. I'm saying, no, I said force right now because that's what you're saying. But I'm saying push, push. Whether you're saying force, same thing, I get it. But it is a push. Do you not agree? That, that Biden is not pushing for something to happen? He's not pushing for, for something to happen? Like people to stay alive, for people to stay alive? I get to staying alive. Everybody wants to stay I mean, alive. but who wants force, to but, die? Uh, nobody, right? I mean, except for a suicidal person, right? Man, who wants to die? But who wants to get injected in ten, five years down the line, end up developing something? Because what what I am aware of, three fifths of the population is supposed to be wiped away. So without so the where you get that, where you get that, that something is going to happen down the line. I get that from William Cooper, Behold the Pale Horse. I get that from what I have seen them do in the past. Once, I get that from the extermination again, and the, the the survival of of trying to maintain a so, control so of the population before it gets out of be? control. What, everybody but, gonna grow a tail? No, that, that means, no, what, what that means is that, what that means is that if they have to find ways to get a mass group of people to, to do away with themselves, to allow themselves, I mean, and it, I'm not saying that's what these shots are, so this is why we're gonna to touch some news tonight that's, that's gonna to touch on this. Gonna happen down the line. These are all the allegedly a hypothetical, because we're not saying these are facts. What's the hypothetical 15 years from Okay, so now you want the hypothetical, yeah. and then we're going to move on? Yeah, from, from your okay. mind, I mean, Okay, so let's go ahead and give it to you. I'm going to give you the hypothetical. That's what you've been doing. You're absolutely so. right. So let me go ahead and give it to you. So the hypothetical is this. G's thoughts, allegedly. So please, YouTube and CDC, I know what I'm going to talk about in the news. You don't have to start now because these are all alleged thoughts, not facts, even though this is news report. Think about that. Anyhow. From what we talked about last week, five, you remember the um, the the doctor, right, who got a federal charge for um, what was that falsifying the oh, vaccination yeah, shots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're asking me what I see in the future, right? So let me read out of their own news clip, and then I'm going to tell you what's coming in the future. So when I say things, people will know why my brain moves the way it moves. So these are news clips. It says. As of now, leaders of the White House have been hesitant about announcing any policies that would explicitly require Americans to show proof of their vaccination status. Read that again. I read it again. As of now, leaders in the White House have been hesitant about announcing any policies that would explicitly require Americans to show proof of their vaccina vaccination status. Reports go on to state that for the time being, decisions may ultimately fall to business owners to enforce proof of vaccinations to roam around mass free. Yeah, so because the government ain't gonna, ain't gonna force it. This is how it begins. I, I, you're right. This is this is how it begins. But not, not not right now. They want to allow the businesses. Again, they want to allow the businesses to start, and then they'll go ahead and enforce it afterwards. That's that word that you're looking for. Enforce coming after. The establishment so once the business owners who control see let me i'm going to go ahead and give you what you asked me in the 15 years that's coming that's why i had to set it up i play chess now what's coming is is that those things that i that i just said we talked about last week with the the, the lady getting popped from the cd from from the falsifying the identification the identification cards for covid yeah, of course there's going to be a market which that. which means they're about to start developing a certain type of system more so than just the identification card 
to where when they inject you, it's either going to have some type of something in it that's going to allow them to be able to scan you, which it probably already does because I've already had, we had an episode where we showed you that people's, that magnets were sticking to the side where they got the shots from, right? We, we, was it season one or was that season two somewhere? Anyhow, one of those. But anyhow, you, you saw where the magnets were sticking, right, from the shots. So there's about to come a point, allegedly, not facts, allegedly, mm. to where, I have to say it, so we don't get fucking Of course straight. you do. Oh, I do. Of course you oh, do. Oh, you do. Because, because that's what it is. No, you're right. That's what it is. It's all alleged. These are nothing is just facts right here. But the barcodes are coming. The barcodes are coming to where they're going to have to scan you. They're going to have to be able to identify those who have taken it and those who haven't. Once the majority begins unless, to, once the majority begins to demand unless, things like unless you, unless they get a rap, to get a kick, get a cap on this goddamn virus. Now right? let, let me let me tell you. Right? Let me, okay, you're right. So let's, right? you know, you're right. I'm not right. gonna I'm not gonna defeat that. You're right. right. You're absolutely right. But now, when, when how can they get it for that shit? How can they get a cap on the virus if? First of all, Either. first is first is Corona, Either. then it's COVID nineteen, then it's a variant of it. So it's, it keeps on mutating. Hold on, hold on, it, it, the, the, hold on. It keeps on mutating. Is it the same? It started as Corona. It, uh, listen, no, it, it started as coronavirus. Coronavirus has been around for long. It, my dog had it. My dog had it back in fucking nineteen fucking ninety five. Dog, like, come on, man. You know what I mean? Like, like that shit is that shit was oh shit. But it 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 it's mutated, and so it's going to keep becoming whatever it wants to, just like the war on terror did. It kept becoming whatever it wanted to, the splinter cells to keep it going. Now, what if I pose this in here? Because again, we're looking into G's fifteen years into the future. So what if I said that in my thoughts they have attempted to reset at the same time, throw a magic trick into play while they reset the economy and shift around laborers, workers, growers, and just the whole economic value of the way the world is about to run in the next 15 years. What if I told you that? That's my, that's my thoughts. And we can elaborate after that after we get through this cheese and this. Really? And at the end of the day, what does the virus do 15 years from now? Like nothing. Months? Because the virus will be nothing. Because it's just what everything has been. You've had Ebola. You've had AIDS. Supposedly whatever AIDS is. <laughs> you've had you've had chicken pox. You've had measles. You've had yeah. mumps. You've had it's just many like multiple else things. When, that come, when they tell you, you but, know what I'm saying, you need to do this. It's just like just like when they first said about seatbelts. Everybody needs to start wearing seatbelts. Motherfucker was just like, Oh, I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna do it. The same shit. Same shit. I, this but is a have, little you different. Have to be no, this, this is a little different. It's, it's a little. It's a little bit of the same. It's a Just little like different. You, you Bl- have to. You have to. Uh, you let have me to take take shots. Shit, since day one. Whoa, hold on. See, I haven't even been paying attention to the chat. Five, listen. Yeah. Bluegrass says the the J and J shot killed my dad. Think yeah, about that. Yeah. Now this and, this, this and isn't that, us saying and, this. And that, this is. And, and that, that form of the vaccine killed a lot of mm. people. So, so, so the form of the vaccine. So how fast are they formulas? Would you put this in your body? Not that one. No, no. Not that but one. I, but, but I already knew that, though. I, I, would, I, already knew, I, already, I already knew the history on the, J, on the J&J vaccine. It was creating blood clogs mm-hmm. but it is, in but, the system. What about all the rest of them? How all the rest of them were just everybody just fine and dandy? No error? So, yeah. No. The other two? I, 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 no, I've, I've, I've seen some. Yeah. We, I think I've even shown some errors on the past shows. But no, at the same time, not, everything not is nothing's was, perfect. Not, not my before, thing is not this. Before it was passed. But, but my thing is this, not though, five. My, my, my thing is this, though, five. You know, they already put, they already put fluoride in the water, right? Mm-hmm. So, but, but, but fluoride just doesn't kill you right away. It doesn't do it. It just dumbs you down a little bit, kind of calcifies your penile gland, all that other good stuff. But it doesn't. Kill, it just makes you dumb. You know, they give it to they give it to the motherfuckers in jail. You know what I mean? They put it in their fucking Kool-Aid. That's real shit. You know what I mean? But but anyhow, um they the, they, 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 they dumb it down. Oh yeah, they definitely put more than that in their food. That's some crazy shit, but we ain't even get on that. But but they, they dumb them down. But now on this part, with us out here, they're giving us 
something for us to all panic and run around into an illusion while they all sit back and What's reset up? the markets. Hold on. Uh, listen, 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 listen. It's an illusion. Five. Everybody's know, not dying from this disease. No, that you, but a lot of no, motherfuckers no, a lot, are no, a, a few, a, a few. A, a, a they're not. They're they're, they're, they're dying from a few is dying from whatever they're 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 catching that has an what's, attachment what's to the illness. What's your definition of a few? Give me a number. Uh, five. That number is not real. Like, I'm going to be real. Give me a number. Then. A few. I probably, if you want me to give you a number, I really couldn't because I can't really pinpoint this bullshit. I really can't pinpoint it. You think, you think I can't pinpoint it with a number, but I can I can definitely I mean, tell you, and I'm not going to try to give you a number, but I can definitely you tell you, think, you I can definitely tell number, you that the numbers do, is do nowhere number, near. Do you think your number is higher than the than the numbers in the trade center? The the trade center was only three thousand people, and that was but that was and that was just the, ever, and that was one quick building. boom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hold man. on, but watch this though. All of them, all of them, all of them cherished so, though. That was that you see when with that perished. Perish, yeah, perish. Yeah. So all of them question, perish, not cherish. That's it, would your number be higher or lower than that? That's that's a low number right there, and that number is. But that but that's I a mean, high. But hold on, hold on, hold on, five. No, few? no. But hold on, that's a that. That's but that's a a, but that's a high number when you're talking about life and you're talking about oh, at shit. one time. So we but hold on, about a, a five. All of them people ain't died at one time of no damn zombie apocalypse, bro. That did it didn't work like that. It, that you can listen, people. The, why, let me ask you this: Why do why do they why do okay? So let's give me your opinion then. Uh, how many numbers? Okay, so you're so doing, let's go to this. You're doing all that talking, but you ain't saying nothing. Because I know I'm saying a lot, and and the only thing I, only thing that you I'm, only thing I can't give you is a pinpoint number on it. But I can tell you this: well, I can tell I you mean, this. You Hospitals gave, get. I can tell you, you just this. Just gave me a, a, a number on on three thousand. Oh, hold on. That, but that that was the World Trade Center in a one impact thing that we can well, that talking, you can I'm that you can grasp. I'm talking about counting lives. I ain't talking about what happened in the incident. Five. Everybody. Okay, so let me so that now since you want to be technical, let's I mean, you know I'm a technical god, so let's go ahead and be technical. technical. No, no, you trying to be technical, so I'm gonna I'm be technical not, with you. Yeah, five, you be I'm a technical. You, but, you be a, you be a, you be a technical. I'm but, be technical with you. But, but hold on, okay. So let me be technical. You can be technical. Let's be technical. Okay. When you're when you're comparing these type of lives, right? These Which lives. I wasn't doing. I was complaining. The, yes. I mean, the, the the numbers on those lives are 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 definitely serious. Three thousand at one time, cool. I get it. That 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 right there is painful. But we know what that was. At the same time, was it an outside job or was it an inside job? That doesn't matter. No, it, no. I know. Hold on, because what, because I have to I have to show you where because you brought it, it up. It I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. So I'm going. It, it no. doesn't matter. People I, died. I, I, you're right. So this and is what I'm trying to tell you. So many people died around the world. Five, you're not listening. Not in just you're not listening country. to the chess move. Not in five. just yeah, not okay, in just this country. You're not listening. We're to talking the chess about move. we're talking about people that died behind a certain situation. Okay, fuck. Period. Bro. Okay, no, you're, I, agree, I, I just got done asking. You. I just got done asking you. Those people, those people gone, right? Same thing. How, was it an inside job, or was it? Do you think it was some foreign invaders just did what they was going to do, and it just happened the way it happened, and that's just what it was? There was no agenda behind it. Of course, there was an agenda behind it. No matter who. Did you said, it. of course. Yeah. Somebody. So, yeah, because some it was, it was oh, a plan. Okay. So uh, yeah. Okay. Of course so it was, so it, was an, it was something something was behind that ultimate movement though right it just didn't out of nowhere right well what's that got to do with okay it has a lot to do with everything with see you're not listening to what i'm saying to you I'm it listening. has to do everything with the same because five you just got done saying that this this mass what they call the zombie apocalypse COVID 19 coronavirus whatever you want to call it is mm -hmm. killing millions and millions of people right it's yeah. not it's not five mm -hmm. it's not now what they have done is attached the numbers to it because I can go in with a bad heart. Oh, no, let me let me speak because you want to hear. I can I can go out with a bad heart. I can go in with a bad heart, and I can die in a hospital, and they're going to call it coronavirus if I pass away. Why is that? You tell me, but I'll tell you why if you want me if to give you, you an answer. If you go in there with a bad heart, listen to what I said. If I go in if a bad heart, I have nothing to do heart. with coronavirus. It, yeah, and you okay. die of a heart attack. It's gonna say you died of a heart attack. A lot of times, they, no, they they've been they've been switching it to coronavirus. They a lot of, they get incentives to, and this is not a this is not a this is not a uh, this is a fact. This isn't allegedly at all. They actually get incentives for yeah, every 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 yeah, patient that yeah, dies yeah, of so. coronavirus. They get an incentive in the hospitals. Why is this? 
even so. Why is this five? This is see. You're not. Regardless, you, okay. Okay. Regardless. We're regardless, going. To, you never gave me a, your number. I can't give you a number. Yeah, on yeah all you can. How can I is give it, you a is number? Is it more or how can less? I, how, is your I, number more or less? You said a few it, died. You, three thousand. Three thousand is the World Trade a Center. Few, though, five, you, but you said a three. few died of coronavirus. Is when, it a few more? Two thousand? No. Is it? No. Is it's, it a it's, thousand? It's, I would. I would say is it because four thousand. Now let me go. Let me go say if if it's something that as if it's something that no you let's no you're tripping because you're not. You're not okay. What when have you you've seen anybody with coronavirus? I, you already know I know somebody that died. Uh, listen, no, I didn't say die. I said, have you seen somebody live with your eyes with coronavirus? So don't I, talk. If, I know see, somebody, bro, if you if haven't I know seen somebody, it, we not if on the I same know somebody page. Somebody that died behind it. So yeah, I, I, I listen. I that's know. not that's not the same. I asked you right now. Have you seen somebody? No, because he was in California. Okay, so don't talk to me about. I've seen California. somebody with coronavirus. You know what? It's, it's not what you're thinking. It's not what you're thinking. No, you've seen that person. No, no, I've seen a few. It's not what you're thinking. You've seen that person. Five. No, that's not the only person. I, I listen to what I'm telling you. It, it's not what you're thinking. See, you, you're you're going off of what you haven't seen. I'm going off of what I've seen. So the so, the, the so gimmick me is going off every of not seeing. They, well, let me ask you this: What happened to the common flu? Whatever happened to the flu? Well, well regardless, the flu still well, exists or no? Me, or is everything guess. coronavirus? Because so, so we're gonna, if you want to get real and so get kicked I, off the show tonight, so, we can so get kicked off this whole so I don't show because you know they're gonna strike. Us, I don't right? supposed to recognize and know that that my friend is gone. That that's not what I'm asking you, five. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So I'm not saying that. But I'm saying though because that's what he. That's what he passed up. Uh, listen, so, I, I, I just I just got done telling so, you they can they will attach coronavirus to anything that they can. It's an incentive. If they can attach it to whatever so, they can, so they you, will. So you saying they attach it to every five to get those numbers up every, there? Let me let me tell you. See, you're not okay. Uh, let me let me let me bring it down. What what? Let me, what let me, okay, numbers, let me just bring it the down. numbers all over the world too, not just in the U.S. Right? Five. Let me let me just okay. Right. Let me answer. Okay, five. To, to push an agenda, they have to make an alarm bell ring. Ring a ring a ding, a ring a ring a ding. So, what has to happen is they have to somehow fluctuate these numbers, get these numbers up to push a mass panic to make people feel in their in their mind, not their actual logical sound. Bro, during that panic, I'm walking around and everybody was like in a zombie land and it was just like, oh, what the fuck in 2020? You know, cars, no nothing, but. Ain't, ain't nobody really sick of nothing. This shit is on some other shit. But then all of a sudden, everybody was on these ventilators, getting their shit pushed off and lungs compressed and all this other shit. And they started pushing up the numbers. Call, everything started to become coronavirus, 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 coronavirus. The propaganda was so much, bro. They called. They they actually created a panic, which created a pandemic. And now, everybody has mentally been subjugated because I watch him with my own physical eyes every day, naturally walk outside, muscle memory, these motherfuckers walk around with masks on as if it's normal. They put it on. I see niggas in the gym playing basketball with me with fucking masks on. Some buildings you can't even walk like you said last week. No, no, no. What I'm, I'm telling you is, is that I'm telling you that they have changed. I'm telling you that they have changed the world in a in a way to where it's resetting. You want to know what happened, five? Because you, you let me go ahead and get ready to move on the segment. But they 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 with this corona and with the whole resetting of changing physical money into into cryptocurrency, they've been resetting all of this under our eyes. But some of us have been able to see it. But they've actually been putting all of this together. You know what twenty twenty happened? You know twenty twenty corona that that happened, right? Yeah. You know what twenty twenty stands for? What? Vision. Vision. I wear glasses, so my vision ain't the best. You know what I mean, as far as eyes. You know what I mean. It's, but I don't use oh, these mean, eyes. You mean what does good vision stand for? Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty yeah. doesn't stand for vision. What does it stand for? Fine. Hmm? What does it stand for? No, I said having good vision is twenty twenty. No, yeah, so that means it stands for vision five. Okay. See, no. we're not going. I think you, the alcohol is twisting. No, you're playing semantics. No, you're playing no, semantics. No, I'm just, I'm just you're following you, semantics. sir. Okay. I'm just following so you. what it is is that I, so, I see this is this is with me and you it always comes down to a socialism and capitalism thing, but at the same time it almost you. it almost comes into like with, with when it comes to government, I can never I can never trust them. I can never trust them. I'm just gonna be real. I can never trust them. Because I know what they do and I know that it's not in my best interest. And if it was, then I would be free. But because I'm not free, 
I can never trust him the way that I, I, I'm, you're giving me the feeling that you're, you're, you're trusting them in a way to where you think they have your best interests at heart. And you my boy, you, you know, I love you, my thing. G, but at the same time, I do my own thing. It, I have I, I can't I can't roll with that. And that's what I'm saying. They, they'll put thing. me that you see, they'll put me and you against each other because if you take the shot and I don't, then me and you in the future will not be able to be on the same level because they'll be trying to force me to walk around in a in a society where I, I have to breathe. I have to be me. I cannot be I cannot, I cannot, I cannot submit to that type of, of injection, that type okay, of lifestyle, so, because so, I, I so, have to worry about my car breaking down so, in the next five or ten years, to where I already know that. Yeah, but, but stop me from fucking with you. That's just gonna eliminate you. It stops you from fucking with gonna, me when they create gonna, zones, where they create that, but, zones, but, and now they separate the people. See, but me and you may when not. It's, when it's when it's real in the field like that, hey, that's. I hope it never comes to that. That's Martial law separates everybody. That's the and then decision that you're gonna make. I have my AK-47 and you it. have your AK-47 and you on that side and I'm on this side. Don't shoot me, my nigga. Yeah, we, we can meet at the fence, nigga, and talk about some other shit, but don't shoot me, nigga. Anyhow, you know what I mean? Because I definitely throwing a grenade over that fence. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> All y'all niggas is getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I love you, though. But anyhow, let's go ahead and move on. You know what I mean? Again, this is this is going to be a coronavirus night. We might actually catch a strike. So this is what it is. I love the energy five, but tonight we definitely going to get it in. And this is episode twenty five. You all tuned in to G's Mystery Show, Our World Revealed. But hey, this is what it is. So speaking of fear in the rise of the zombie apocalypse five, mm -hmm. we have a Louisiana man who was hospitalized with COVID nineteen who told CBS he still wouldn't get vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and later interviewed in, in his first of all his name is Scott Rowe he said yeah. he said he didn't even regret not getting the vaccine yeah, I mean, fuck he, that vaccine he I mean look how bright he sound when he talk I mean all it is is basically he's saying well since you're telling me to take it I ain't gonna take it I mean when motherfucker ain't telling you to take it they just suggested it mm. but you see firsthand that your immune system isn't strong enough to fight it off, fucker. <laughs> but you, but he you, but he fought. But he he survived because of the medicine. The medicine, nigga. He didn't take no medicine. The venom, like, what do you mean, bro? That's they they got mean. him on oxygen, so my nigga. They got him on oxygen, bro. Yeah, he's bro. in a fucking hospital. They got yeah. him on oxygen. He wasn't yeah. taking no fucking shot, my nigga. He said, he fuck that shot. Type, he took some type No, he of didn't take nothing, and nigga. He said, fuck that shot. That's my cockazoid nigga, know, bro. I, know, I fuck I know, with my cockazoid nigga. I, I know nigga. he said, I know he said fuck yeah, that shot. Yeah, look. But still, that's what I'm saying. Look, dog, he but said fuck a, that shot. Yeah. He ain't taking it. But go it. ahead and roll the dice again with your life, though. What do you mean? If yeah. he survived it, why, if he if he survived this time, why would he have to take a shot? That's what I'm trying to tell you, no, father. No, no, I, I didn't say take the shot. I said roll the dice again with your life. Gotcha. That's what I said. Bro. But that's but that's taking it. I mean, that, no, that's rolling the dice again, nigga. He already survived it. I would, nigga. I ain't about to. I, if, nigga, yeah. I already built up my body, so they could they could fight that shit off. I'm good. You have you ever had the so. flu? Have you ever had the flu before? Yeah. You 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 survived. You're still here, nigga. We talking. So. Yeah. You worried about but the I flu? Ain't, I ain't had the I ain't had the flu. You worried about the flu like ass. you have? I, but I guarantee you, the flu has killed more motherfuckers than this so-called yeah but, but but the flu didn't kill motherfuckers when i had it let me ask you this. I had it. and i want to ask the audience if if, if somebody out there call in we also want to hear if y'all can tap into this conversation nine yeah. five one seven nine 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 zero two one yeah, if you're 50 years old yeah. call in if you didn't have the flu <laughs> I'm 50 yeah. so you say nobody in their 20s 30s can catch the flu at this time or did can. the flu what just I'm go saying. extinct and now it's what all saying, coronavirus saying, what happened to the when, common when cold the flu, when the flu knocks motherfuckers down it knocks people down of age no, the flu can knock anybody down. The flu no, knocks them all killed. And especially pneumonia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, pneumonia. Yeah. Now, pneumonia don't give a shit what yeah, age well, you well, what age you are. Yeah. So, so, my so, so now, now my speaking of you know, my, my, my brother, my pneumonia. brother, I hope he listening, he had pneumonia. So he definitely. But he ain't died. But he didn't die either. Yeah. No. Nah. nah, my brother. But he definitely, he died definitely was from, in that, that, that state. You know what I mean? Shit was my crazy. My niece's father died from pneumonia. Now, now pneumonia is real. Yeah. Now, 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 something that that we you can you see how you yeah that's that's a fact, you know what I mean. Now, now, coronavirus is like like yeah. AIDS. They can attach it to anything. See, this is what I'm trying to say. It appears that coronavirus can be attached to anything. But regardless, we we know it's still knocking motherfuckers down. But is it regardless what they're attaching to it? I mean, but it's, but but it's people knocking motherfuckers you know, down. Man. 
Like, how many people die a day? Hmm? How many people, on the average, just regularly die a day? Yeah, a bunch of motherfuckers. Okay. A bunch of motherfuckers. So, so nothing, nothing, nothing. There, there hasn't been nothing different. If you actually separate coronavirus from the right. actual numbers of death, there's nothing. It's the only thing that's different is that it's been attached to everything and a lot more things. I should say. I should use that word. It has been attached to a lot more things. Well, well. And that, and that creates a whole lot of numbers, and you still got to sit up here and say, well, damn. I mean, the, the numbers you know are, are either, the numbers accurate. Either, you know, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to fuck with it. I'm going to roll the dice. Oh, uh, nigga, I'm and, roll and, the dice. I ain't and, rolling the dice. I'm just walking on. Fuck y'all yeah, dice game, nigga. Yeah. I ain't taking no chances. I ain't even gambling. Yeah, fuck you. you. Are. Like, yeah, how am I gambling if I ain't taking it, nigga? I'm that's, just walking. You, I'm not, I'm not that's gambling. That's I'm walking away, bro. I'm that's just living life, nigga. Just boom. Fuck that shit. I ain't worried about it. Fuck it. Anyhow, Louisiana man, you know what I mean? Scott Rose said, fuck that shit. I'm not taking it. I rock with you, like I said yeah, before. From the hospital bed. From Yeah, from the hospital bed. Yeah. Nigga, straight G. I mean, and survive. Stupid. That's stupid. Stupid, yeah. smart motherfucker who may stupid. outlive those who stupid. taking those shots. Stupid. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyhow. Now, this is this is what Five is probably going to root for because he seems like, you know what I mean, definitely is going to shut me up because this lady right here, for all my Smoke social... Down. She's about to, she's definitely about to shut me up. For all my social media and new media content creators, please be advised there is a bill in the works, oh yeah, that is about to strip social media of its protections from actual health misinformation. Something what they may say that I'm speaking now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they, they hold to, uh, <laughs> to their words. Yeah, you got to speak that facts and stop just putting bullshit out there just because you can. Just because you can hide behind your computer. Ain't nobody hiding, nigga. Y'all whoa, see whoa, my face, on, bro. Whoa, I whoa, ain't whoa. Hiding. Shit. Damn, guilty conscience. Nigga, hey, nah, Man, yeah, well, yeah. I was, actually, I wasn't speaking about All shit. the mother motherfuckers be hiding, yeah, dog, talking yeah, that so, bullshit from the kids. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, misinformation is misinformation, <laughs> motherfucker. And, so I, I, you, and, you believe that I'm spilling... Misinformation uh, about health? I, no, I think you just spilling your opinion. That's all so, you're so, uh, so then that's you're right. Now, see, yeah. you said the perfect words yeah, right there. I, I, yeah, My I, opinion. I know, I know that. But you know what? You know what's about to happen? Senator Amy Klobuchar, Klobuchar. Cre- however the fuck you pronounce her name, under the zombie apocalypse era, would create an exception to the law known as Section 230, shielding platforms from the suits, because it used to be of the shield, motherfuckers. From saying anything and the platforms could just, hey, that's he doing what he do. It has nothing to do with me. But now, on Thursday, Senator, say your last name? Cloverchaw. Say it louder in the mic. Cloverchaw. Cloverchaw. Introduced a bill that would strip online platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, yes, even fucking YouTube, and others like it, of their liability, protections, if their technology spread misinformation related to public health emergencies, such as... COVID-19 pandemic. Something that we're talking about now. Yeah. So, Five, I have to really ask you. They do not want us talking about no, they don't want COVID-19. You, no, you already know they, we catch no, strikes all the time. No, I always say, say you, zombie yeah, apocalypse yeah, instead of COVID, you, but, but fuck no, it. We're going to catch a strike They don't tonight. want us or anyone else just putting out misinformation about anything. That motherfuckers that can, that can lead to, to bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Propaganda. You know, like... Like what happened at the Capitol, mm. you know, all, all that bullshit. Now everybody, a lot of motherfuckers that they've been got cracked, and now that's in front of these judges. Ah, ah, now they pointing fingers like, oh, so and so told me to do it. Like, like, yeah, it's bullshit. You know, all all that misinformation that was out there over the internet. So, but yeah. but but that was that was more so on getting something to revolt and do some kind of stage right. But that's what but, exactly, but hold on. So, so like what, what, what it's, no, but what, what about saying. what about health? Because you can what, do the same thing with with health. So what about what about alternative health? You know what I mean? People, gurus, or or people who's into the diets of just saying ah, oh, you don't need that. Then they say, hey, you can't say that on you. No longer can can talk well, about your it, your it, nutritional. It, it, but shit can do any of that I'm, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna do their homework and, and if it's factual, oh no no they no they're about this they're about to they're about to I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about the whoever gonna police this shit oh the CDC if they gonna, if they gonna I mean, do their homework you it's, know it's, what I'm it's basically on the guru behind the guru I mean shit you gotta have a leg to stand on you just can't 
But but like like let me let me. You just ain't gonna be able to say. So does that take away freedom of speech though? Can I I I cannot say look man like 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 I you know a lot of people say allegedly to to kind of avoid the way of saying that's a fact or doing whatever. But 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 hold on. But but hold on. Why would you want to? Why would you why, want why? your shit out there if you know your shit is bullshit? No, but I don't know my shit is bullshit. I believe my shit, and I know but, my shit is right to me, you, nigga, because but, I can but, tell you, I've been around motherfuckers. But regardless if you if, believe if, it, if, if I, my regard, body has shown, hold on, but five, but this, this is the only reason why I stand it, so strong about regardless this. If you it's not about believing. I'm, I'm talking about what I know you now. Just said, you no, just I, said I said I believe what I know because now I know. Once you believe, once you, once you, once you come to know, listen. Once you come to know, once you come to believe what you know, you no longer have to believe it anymore because you know. And because I know that I've been around those who've so, had COVID and my body has shown that it, it, it can restrain whatever's going on if it's even real or not but to that likeness that's out there whatever it is why would I force myself to take that shot and and why would those who have had hold on watch this let me finish this last part and why would those who have actually had COVID who have survived COVID be forced to take a shot they should be free from taking shots if they survived it their body is already cool now now they're good they can do whatever. It, well, it depends on their system. If they, if they, if their immune system can create antibodies off off of having it the first time, oh well, yeah. But you gotta understand, it just doesn't affect young motherfuckers like you saying, like you suggest. I'm not saying young. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it affect. I mean, I'm just saying it affect whatever it's gonna affect. I don't know what. Look, all I know is that it, it's it not affects. what is what is cracked up to be. And that's the only thing I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm not saying that okay, it isn't. Your, I'm not saying any of that. Yeah. So you saying that's your opinion? It's not a correct. Opinion. So exa- by opinion. my opinion, should I be? Should she be able to sue me? Because they're not talking about wiping away your your your, your page or your content. No, they're actually talking about suing you. The government, CDC, is talking about actually bringing litigation against you and the platform you're on. Yeah, making making you stand on your words. Yeah, and and if you stand on your words and you speak but, the but, truth, but how can it'd be you, no problem. So let me ask you this: It'd be no problem. How can right? you? How can You're you? Facts. How can you speak facts against the CDC? Who's going to say this is what it is? What do you, what do you mean? If CDC says these vaccinations are a hundred percent safe, not nah, 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 this is what it is. Da 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 da. You cannot speak against it. You can't even speak against what's going on out here because this is what it is. Is that? Is that not taking away your freedom of speech or just being whatever this so-called America it was, whatever it was? No, they're no. just telling you to speak factual because you can no, speak how, factual. Can you, but but, but you can't speak factual about the CDC. What do you mean? What's, but how you do you? Can. How, is everything it depends factual? on what what you what you saying? Can I say that the motherfuckers gave Miss Everboy syphilis? Who? See, can I can I say the motherfuckers gave Miss Evers boys syphilis? Who's Miss Evers boy? Yeah, see, it was some shit that happened back in the days when the, the fucking about, po- the, the you niggas. Talking about, you talking about the Tuskegee area? Yeah, some yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. Can you say what? Yeah. Can you can you say? Yeah, can, yeah, we can say that. We all know that's factual. So you exactly, know, we all, we exactly. All know that was a so that was so, a fucked up experiment. All right, so so now why do I have to wait for me to we to find out that this becomes an experiment for me to say it now? So you, mm, you think, that's something to think so, about. I could so told you this is chess, saying, not checkers. My so friend. are you saying my move? Okay, <laughs> I take that. So are you saying and you comparing what's going on now to the to Skitty? Airmen? No, this is way worse. Happened. This is something way dynamic. This is so, on a whole so, other scale. So, this is so something yes, to reset the whole system. That. That was some pet. That was some little shit. Yeah, so that was you're just, saying yes, that was and it's going beyond. Uh, this is beyond. This is this is to the extent of the whole world is resetting. The whole world is resetting. Dollars is about to go. Everything is crypto. Everything is about to go digital. You know, Everything that, is about know, to go scanning. Shit got froze because of those scans. Yeah, I, 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 we we covered. So it. That shit ain't gonna no, go. it is because that that's how you track it because of this. Yes, because nah, you can't. Yes, nah, the feds them, them froze all that shit. You know, it's, it's a, the, a, a everything is everything is about to go in. Okay, the dollars is is gone. Trust me, it's 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 just another matter. They're resetting. Listen, they took away the jobs. They took away the, the when when COVID happened. It it forced everybody to shift. Whether you was a business owner, um, what do you, you mean? People small, stayed home because you got paid more. No, to stay no, home. I get that. I get that. But now when they what took that mean? away, everybody more had to fucking go. Fucking unemployment than you would on your paycheck. No, not not me. Of course, me, it was rocket science for a motherfucker no, to so, stay home. No, I got you. I got you. It definitely, it definitely, it definitely helped a lot of other people who. You, but that that was at a different level. But it also, 
no, at a different level because what I'm saying to you, Five, is that, listen to me, bro, is that it changed the way people was regularly working and living, the way that they were surviving and they actually had their careers and professions. When motherfuckers took that dive to try to come back, that's, that, that, that field is no longer there in that way. More people had to go in to do something else, more of a labor type work. It's to where they're, they're shifting because pretty soon there will be a lot of digital, already robotic parts that won't really need a lot of workers. And again, that's why I say they're going into a digital system whether you like it or not. It, I mean, the drones are in the air. But before we even get into that, because we're moving on too fast, hey, this lady right here at 05, are you support her? You support Senator, can you pronounce her last name again? Amy hey, her name is Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. Yeah. Klobuchar. Close that, enough. You got that shit right. She, yeah. Look, look at that face. Is she the face of an angel? Only a mother like could she, love. Uh, she like she thinking about saying something. She somebody got her attention. Mm -hmm. I think I got her fucking attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. Almost. Never mind. She's high level. I ain't gonna say anything. Anyhow, so basically, platforms would no longer be shielded if she gets her way. And definitely, people like me mm -hmm. won't survive long. Why is that? Because I'm going to always have something to say. Just because you have Again. something to say, I mean... Well, I, that. I don't. That's I don't have enough. Issue. I don't have enough money to fight that's her lawsuit. That's not the issue. I don't have enough money to fight her lawsuit. That's, that's not the issue. For saying that the this issue, shit is some bullshit. Y'all motherfuckers knowing, knowing are on some the bullshit. The issue is knowing the difference of putting your opinion out there as facts no, compared I, I, to I, and compared to doing your homework but, saying, but we have done our homework we've even had I'm we've not, even had listen, doctors on I'm, the show come on I'm, I'm, bro, like stop we, being so defensive I mean but stop being so defensive but, but and no, let me speak but hold on but people let haven't me speak. Speak. Go ahead, go ahead. let me speak go ahead. I'm talking about I'm talking about podcasters in general you should only have a problem if you don't know the difference if you ain't gonna take the time out to do your homework, to, to, to put the time in, to voice your factual opinion. Let me ask you this though, Five, but they won't even agree with some of the views that some of our guests have had. They don't. Uh, no, I'm, 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 talking, I'm, talking, about, I'm talking about the CDC. No, and so that, that matter of fact, the show that we did with them is one of the shows that got us to strike. Agree. They don't have to agree. So that lets me know right there they, they don't do, want to hear the facts. They, to, they only want to they want to hear their facts because when we have bring some other people to have facts, we catch strikes for that. No. Let's come on, man. No, no. Then then why then why? So why did they not just let them? Why did they just not let it go? What do you mean? The show with Kitty. Because that was that was that was the first strike. That was the first strike I got on YouTube. For for what part of it though? For him uh, for him actually speaking out about COVID. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, for those that haven't watched that, that's episode two, season one. You know what I mean? Definitely, you know what I mean? Um, with some, a lot of shit was said on there, and that, that actually got me my first strike. And since then, I learned to actually use the algorithms of Zombie Apocalypse. But now on this show right here tonight, episode 25, because you all have tapped into G's Mystery Show, Our World Revealed. I'm G, and I'm sitting next to that nigga sleep. No, I'm reading that. No, fuck no, that. Was, Five the most electrifying men in the streets man. and neighborhood. I was, I was reading, He's I was reading the chat. chat. Yeah, nigga in the chat. Oh, my bad. You know what I mean? But anyhow, you know what I mean? Definitely tonight is going to be the night to where we're, this is a COVID night, just so you all know. This is a COVID night. I, and we, I tried to avoid an actual show like this, but because it's a lot going on, even with, I can't pronounce her last name. Can you give it to me? Miss Amy Kovachar. Amy Kovachar. And also, you know, what happened with my mans in Louisiana. And as you can see, what's going on just around the whole United States with this. We got to talk about this shit. So let's talk about it. But let's lighten up the mood before we jump back into some of this COVID shit. Five, what does that look like on the screen to you? Uh, shit, what, New York, some shit? I don't know. <laughs> you think well, New York looked that good? Well, I mean, shit, I don't know. Nigga, you gave New York a lot of credit right there, nigga. You said, uh -huh. <laughs> amusement park? I don't know. Mm hmm. Yeah, that nigga said amusement park. It's an island or something. I don't know. Uh, close. Very close. You get close. What is it? Mm. That's Dubai. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not even. Yeah, motherfucking okay. man made shit. Okay. That's... Oh, where's the. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that shit is. If I would have. 
Yeah. No, nah, you right. You was you was right there. I knew you. You definitely. But New York though, nigga. You said New York though. You know New York don't look that good. Though. You know what I mean? You know, it doesn't look bad. That's a bad picture. That's a horrible picture of Dubai. Yeah, but I had to give you the whole scenery at the top. But anyhow, what's going on in Dubai? And I can't even make this shit up. I can't even make this shit up. Uh-huh. Right now, Dubai World's Utopia has made fake rain. What? They have made fake rain. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they have. They have made fake rain fall onto the desert. You want to know how? Huh? How was that? Uh, they actually made it. They actually made fake rain fall on the desert by shocking drones. Can you think by by shocking drones? And what these shocking drones do is they fly into the clouds. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. They fly into the clouds, and oh, then make a static, make a static ah, shot. yes and, sir. Oh, yes yeah. sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you 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 live in America, of course you do. Uh, five. Do you see any? Do you still see planes flying around with chemtrails? Yeah. You do. Yeah. When the last time you seen a plane flying up in the sky with chemtrails? Oh man, Zion pointed them out all the time. Ooh, I, I, I would say like last month. Last, oh, so you didn't see it yesterday, the day before. No, no. Nah, I, well, I've been outside looking like that, but I would say about a month ago when I was outside with my son, though. Mm. Okay, because what do you think about Dubai being the the wave of the future as far as the way land goes, living on a utopia land goes, of just having all the fulfillments of just at your mercy of a city, Dubai? Yeah, I mean, shit, if you can, shit, if you can do it, hey, have at it. More power to you. <laughs> shit. I mean, ooh, we, I mean, yeah, they can did that. So they man-made islands. So do you do you think that do you think that this was just Arabs doing because this is actually from the United yeah, Arab that, Emirates? Yeah, that's that oil money, man. That's that oil money. Oh yeah. Mm. So now, do you they think that they rap money for real? <laughs> so now, now this is this is a playoff of harp. You ever heard of harp? The harp, like where they actually have oh, these yeah, okay, you know, okay, these okay. weather instruments that yeah. that alter the weather and yeah, create yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And you've seen chemtrails before. Yeah. But what about this? A drone that just flies into the clouds and shocks it and yeah, creates great rain. static shock. Right. And I can, yeah. Is that not not safer? Not I a can, lot I more. Can, I can see how the, how how they can do that. How they can manipulate Mother Nature. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, that's the technology for your ass. But what about when it becomes too much? What do you mean? And look at the look at that rainfall. So now that mm-hmm. it's raining in the desert, because it doesn't rain like that. Oh, motherfuckers can't drive. Oh, <laughs> Some motherfuckers can't. They yeah. can't. Swervel. It's not their their role. Their 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 landmass isn't designed to hold that type of rain. That type of water. It's fake rain. Are they playing God? It's real rain. It's just oh, it's real rain, but it's fake. It's it's tickled. It's making me piss when I don't want to piss. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> motherfucker. You make me piss when I want to piss, nigga. I'm pissing all over this motherfucker. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. But anyhow, hey, it is what it is. Hey, <laughs> you tapped in the G's Mystery Show, Our World Reveal. Hey, if you guys want to tap in, you want to talk to me or five on the line, go ahead, hit that number nine five one seven nine nine. Nine zero two one. Don't be shy. Look, we still got some more to go before we even get back into it. We're going to take a small commercial break. I want you guys all to go ahead, get your drink up a little bit. You know what I mean. Matter of fact, if not go ahead over there to Black Spatula. Mm-hmm. And get your sea moss. Looking to replenish the body, boost up your immune system, ladies. Soothing up that beautiful skin, fellas. Ease those unwanted bowel movements, or we just get up in age and become elders. And our joints don't want to act right? Log on to Black Spatula, LLC.com. Yes, that's B L A C K S P A T U L A L L C.com. Providing that purple and sea moss gold, gel, or in raw form, straight from the Jamaican waters to help stand strong in this fight against the heavyweight champ, coronavirus, and that June bug flu. 
and you can pick up those organic homemade elderberries to help relieve nasal congestion, anti-inflammatory, potent anti-cancer, antiviral, treats respiratory illness, aid in wound care, high in vitamin A, B, C, and potassium, and natural support for arthritis. And if you hit them with that G code, shh, man, black spatula, just might get you 20% off total purchase. Now, go follow Black Spatula on social media. All right, all right. Thank you all for tapping back into G's Mystery Show, Our World Revealed. That man over there eating that chicken. You know what I mean? And I'm over here. And you over here what? <laughs> Not eating the chicken because we had that Tyson Big Rig. You know what I mean? Or actually that Tyson uh, talk last week about all the chicken that was infected. Ah, did you forget? Hell no, I forgot. <laughs> Fried my shit up. <laughs> you think you think burning some shit like some niggas will just kills all the all the bacteria? Look, man. <laughs> just like you rolling the dice, nigga. With the with the yeah, with, with that with the rona. Nigga. With the rona, huh? I'm, I'm rolling the dice with the chicken, nigga. I could dig it. All I could right. dig it. I could definitely you dig it. on the edge every day. I heard the hell out of that. But now, five before we leave off on this and get into the show, what about out here in Arizona? Because it's hot in the motherfucker. Do you, you, you see how it was raining just a little bit? Well, it's, it's not monsoon, so. It's monsoon time. Yeah. What, what about if they did some shit like that out here? You think this weather would be able to handle some shit like that? Yeah, shit. Nigga, handle monsoon shit. Nigga, but, monsoon but, tear shit up. Yeah, but just think a monsoon and the type of heat that we get out here and some fucking, uh, some generic rain. Yeah. What do you think? You know what I mean? It'd be crazy. And you know what? I was actually out today and the rain smelled different today, too. I ain't even going to lie. Everywhere I was going was smelling like weed. I ain't even fronting. The, the rain was smelling like weed today it's for some reason. Treatment. It was on your clothes. Listen <laughs> to this guy. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Anyhow, that's what's up for G's News. We're going to go ahead and actually go ahead and get into what we are all here to really get in to talk about. And that's what we're here to do. The topics, we're going to talk about NASA. Yes, NASA. Five, you, you like the NASA conversation? You with it or you don't care? Uh, it varies. Because space, it, it, like I said, I, you know, I'm never going to go. You plan on going if they allow you oh, to go? Oh man, I mean, shit. I mean, I'll, I'll be with it. You'll be with it. Yeah, I, I don't know. But at the same time, NASA Insight Lender gives first look at Mars interior yielding five mm. pictures that we've already shown in our show before. Mm -hmm. That's the crazy part of this news is that we've already showed this last season and they're talking about the same information that we was already exposing is new as if these are real photos it's the same photos that they had almost six months ago so was it real then five is that real Shit. no I'm, I'm, I'm asking you yes or no see that's Shit. the right no, I'm giving you my answer. I'm, uh, five does that picture how about, let's ask the audience. Let's see if the audience. Audience, I want you to look at this picture right here. And callers, if you want to call in, please do. Does, look like a does, that, does that look like a picture or a photo? When I say picture, I mean an artist and painted it. When you do your photo, you mean? I mean snapshot, meaning like if it was a photo taken from a real camera right then and there in real time. It was, it was supposed to be taken from that other little drone, right? <laughs> I'm gonna let you give your opinion on that. I remember when it, No, I see when we it, talked when about it aired, it. Yeah, we talked you know, about I'm talking about when they showed the when they showed the little the little drone fly from from that from, shit. From, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that. Hmm. So so what, what they're saying is that they're captivating now these dust storms. They actually are, are, are able to 
to show live photos of, not live photos, but they've actually captured dust storms. Mm -hmm. So my question is, if Mars is doing this, how come they're not video recording this? If they have it, how come they're not, they're not able to show us? Because we've had they are, it. Go they ahead. are videoing. So, yeah. but have you seen it? They only released certain still photos. I didn't see any certain, certain videos like I just said. I saw the video of the drone. Once once that that landed, mm -hmm. that, that, that bigger drone landed, they showed the video of the small drone uh, dislodging from it. So they have video. So you, but have they picking and choosing, they just putting out still photos. But they have NASA has video. So you you do. you think NASA has video of yeah. of real dust storms of Mars, but they're not showing us. We've been yeah. paying their salary these billions and billions of dollars. Remember, we had this conversation last week. I asked you, what has NASA produced or shown us or given us? Mm -hmm. What have they given us? Yeah. I mean, shit, you know, they, they, they classify whatever the hell they want they're, to classify. They're, they're giving it's us... top secret. That's, that's top secret. How is it top secret when this I is supposed know. to be public information? We're supposed to know if they're yeah. really going out there. So yeah. I, 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 yeah. That, I mean, come on, that's a big accomplishment. I mean, to, for them yeah. to say that there's a dust storm on Mars and they've actually captured it, why would they have an artist paint that? Because that right there, my friend, is not an actual photo. That's a painting mm -hmm. and um buddy died he actually got it right hell no that's a he said that's a pic um it definitely it's definitely a picture but it's a painting of a picture that's a fact and they've already he said, they, uh, he said that it's a it's a it's a pic and they've actually painted it and they've actually said that it was a painting they've actually determined that it was a painting they said it was not not made up it's actually a fact it is a painting so my thing is why do they have paintings of all of these sceneries but they don't they don't actually Who painted it? NASA this is NASA's work this is off the NASA website this is all NASA stuff mm -hmm. you know what I mean they, they they but they're saying that they have an artist that is drawing what's happening instead of showing what's happening so that's confusing to the inquiring minds on why are they is just never showing anything feasible for us to grasp that's what I, that's what I asked. Do do you not care, Father? I agree. Yeah. Like, do you not want to see what the fuck is going on out there? Yeah. If it's, if they're really out there, or if they're not, just say it and just yeah. let us be at peace and just say fuck it. We can't go out of this bitch and we all stuck in. This is what it is. Yeah. And I yeah. think I think if they told us that that we're all stuck on this fucking planet and we all have to live, I think har harmony would probably come more quicker than if we don't know what the fuck is going on and everybody just in chaos because they're thinking they're going somewhere else and they're not <laughs> that's the problem but yeah like with with this shit five I, I i definitely i don't know about this one man when it comes to this shit this this seems like a big drone that landed somewhere in the arizona desert where it's all red at by the hopi indians and um <laughs> <laughs> they parked that shit and nigga they said go ahead and draw that shit right there because I've, I've actually seen a little footage of them doing something on supposedly some red planet but they only show the bottom and they only show it scooping some dirt out of the ground they don't actually show nothing for it for you to see any visuals that's happening for it or they don't show anything visuals for you to see anything that's happening behind and that's even what they do on space jumps when they're in space, they never show you what's forward, and they never show you what's behind. They only show you the, the actual uh, jumper or the astronaut right there. They don't they don't show anything behind it. They don't just show you the, the, the scene. They don't show you the scene. You never get to see the three the three dimensional scene behind it. It's stuck on one view, and so that's what I'm saying. There are multiple cameras when the space shuttle goes up. When the space shuttle goes up, I said when when they're actually doing a space jump, when they're they're like hooked you on that space walk. Yeah, when. Oh yeah, they have multiple cameras. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They they show yeah. multiple. They show they, they show they, they show the, they show the they backside. Got, they, got, they got multiple angles when they do the space walks. They show the backside of them. Yeah, they show. Mm -hmm. Man, they show up. Man, they got a lot of mm -hmm. they got a lot of angles. I, I've seen a lot of them. Space walks now. 
I seen a lot of them. This man said that shit is in Vegas and Red Rock Canyon. <laughs> Oh uh, shit, that's a fact. It definitely look like it's somewhere wherever it's red at, and it don't. Uh, it, it's just hard for me to to really second that that's on Mars. <laughs> Mars supposed to be the red planet. Hey, you got red out here though. Song. You got red out here. Um, hey, you know. I don't, I don't care. I uh, see. Yeah, you don't care. Fuck it. So since you don't care, we're gonna go ahead and move on. All right. With this, we and call it. We we'll go ahead and take you online. Just give us one sec. Up next, we have the NFL teams will be forced to forfeit. Uh, you heard about this? Mm-hmm. Uh, shit. If unvaccinated players cause COVID-19 outbreak. Yeah. I- is that fair? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of money on the line. Mm. And you got, you got other players, you know what I'm saying? Money being fucked with because, you know what I'm saying? Can't play the game. Yeah, we can't play against y'all. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, okay. yeah, you should forfeit. I'm, I'm straight. My team ready to go. Yeah, nigga, so, we so, want this money. And so you know that you know that actually cheats. Well, I won't say cheat, but it actually cuts whoever is, is the hot team, and they fuck up. They out of the playoffs. Well, you, well yeah. You know. I mean, mean, I mean, do you? Hey. That changed the whole thing. Whole way betting is. I mean, can you even gamble on the season anymore? I don't know. Anyhow, we have a call on the line. Caller calling from 909 area code. What's your name and where you're calling from? You are live on the air with Uh-oh. G. And Hello. Oh, man. Hello. What's happening? <laughs> you said, oh, man. Can we, can we have a name? <laughs> Nakia. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is Nakia. Okay. Okay. How you doing? How you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you guys doing? All right. Me and five. You know we over here. Oh, yeah. Arguing and, and debating. Exactly. Yeah. So, so what's on your mind tonight? What, what do you, what do you want to talk about? Oh man, oh man, uh, whew. it's a lot. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> no, go ahead. Start. Start where you feel the worst at, and then we'll work our way up to where you feel the best at. So what? Oh, what's the man. Most, okay. What's so the it would definitely. Oh, that's messed up. So <laughs> okay, so the the vaccines and all mm. of that, that okay, was so like, you wow. Wanna, you want to help get us kicked off the show. So let's go ahead. No, let's no, talk about it. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Let's, let's, let's talk about it because we're we, we going to get we gonna catch a strike tonight. Let's talk about it. So what do you want to talk about? we keep encouraging it. Go ahead. Let's talk about it. Oh, my gosh. Um. Once again, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to ride with QG, and <laughs> the five is gonna be like uh uh-uh. uh. But everything that you like, your opinion is your opinion, but your opinion is also kind of fact. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, well, hold on, don't don't say fact because if you say fact, you know what's gonna happen to me. They're gonna kick yes, me know, off I'm the fine. show because they're gonna say that I'm misleading the audience. And this is what you saw that two thirty shit was about. Uh, with right. The lady that he could pronounce the last name of. Because he supports her. No, I'm just joking. Fine. No, I'm just joking, my nigga. Even yeah. that, I'm just joking. But 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 definitely. She, she no, yeah, she definitely she definitely is gonna be on me. So so we just gonna say right. Okay. Allegedly, or you right. like the opinion. So, yeah, sure. but what I was saying is, in general, like everybody's opinion is their opinion, even though it Who's might that? be, you know. But um, I'm not down with taking a vaccine. Not doing it. I can't. And like you, you um, made a good point where you're saying if people have already survived COVID, why would you need a vaccination? Right, your immune system should should have built up antibodies for it, and you should be straight. You should be straight. I, I agree. They, they should not be forcing you to do anything. But, but they should they're even not look for it. Again, I hate to use the but word. You're right. Not, you're right. 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 And that's but, another thing that that's also kind of true. Like. I wouldn't say forced, but you're being aggressively pushed in one direction. One direction. Can I say that? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, you, you definitely push. I'm, and I think that the caller said that they couldn't hear you. You know what I mean? And I think that was because I didn't even open up the line. But now they should be able to hear you on the line. So that was my. Oh, point. okay. Yeah, but definitely. Um, um, I, I I I do believe that we believe that we're on the same page because you you are a person who 
who really looks at it and analyzing like the the future of it and you're looking at just sitting back and saying well wait a minute what's why is it a a rush to get everybody on board with this if a lot of people probably don't even need any of this stuff like what is the real is the real benefit of this stuff only being worked on for a year or so and put out there for everybody to have to be again i don't want to say have to be like five say he's right not forced but but to be propaganded on so that way it almost becomes muscle memory to the ideal of either you're walking around with a mask or you're catching the shot either you're walking around with a mask or you're catching the shot either or you know what i mean exactly your shot is one and done what do you mean what do you mean one and done no 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 the people who don't got a shot is walking around a mask and the people who got shot is now walking around a mask like they they feel free but then all of a sudden you watch the news and then all of a sudden they motherfuckers who got the shot is still catching covid yeah or passing away or passing away. So yeah, yeah. You said that, not me. I'm only repeating what you said. And no, and the this is, and that's right. from yeah. that's from experience. I have, yeah. I know people who have yeah. taken a yeah. shot, not even gotten the second shot, and passed away. So from the first shot, not even, not even making it yes. to the second. Not course. even making it to the second shot, and that's now, that's yeah. by knowing. That's not just you know hearing somewhere. Yeah. I I know. But now five. This is this is what we're gonna happen with this lady. Check this out. Is that this lady now? If what you're saying is true which is true, I mean, again, allegedly, but also facts because people have died from the first shot. But what you're saying, this lady, he can pronounce her last name, she is definitely going to push for you saying stuff like that. It can be misleading to where that right there can, you would no, have to defend that ain't yourself. What, that, ain't what, that ain't what Amy told No, was. all of that, because no. what, what no, she said, she's talking she saying, about a personal experience that is factual she about know. what she know of and what she experienced. I'm talking that about. Not, I, I, I'm talking about factual truth. That, 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 that she would what, take for it. That's that not what Amy Coleridge Hall is, is is promoting and pushing. How is it not? Far as what do you mean? How is it not? What she's talking mean? about. She's, she's talking about talking anything about. that is deemed to where it goes against right. the health or public health of dealing with COVID-19 yeah. for any yeah. misleading, now, any, just, hold on, the she, words she, in that, that fucking bill is misleading. She wasn't talking directly mis- to the CDC leading. and said this and that. No, she was talking about an uh, actual let me, situation. Let me, let me tell you what I'll tell you from here. here. Yeah, yeah, I, would, I, would, I would say that, you know what, she's telling me. Twist on, no, I would say she's telling me, she tell me oh, nigga, I, I, she ain't taking a shot. I ain't taking a shot either. I'm with her. You see, that's what I'm not to me. I'm with her on that. She's telling you personally. She's telling you personally what she would do or wouldn't do. That is not misleading. Exactly. She ain't going. She is not. She just said that she wouldn't take the shot, right? Personally. So personally. On air. Yes. Which, if she has a platform, her followers and viewers would say, you know what? If she's not going to take it, and I rock with her, I'm not taking it. Which a person like her now would turn that blind eye to me and say, you know what? You misleading these motherfuckers because everybody got to get and how, this shot. And how does she mislead them? What did she say that was wrong about the fact okay. that she's Nakia, not Okay, why would you? Why aren't you going to take the shot? He's just going to ask you. I'm going to ask you because she didn't say that. She didn't say anything. Oh, said. okay. Uh, first and foremost, I'm a leader, not a follower. Okay. Right on. <laughs> Um, secondly, like you said, this has been mass produced in a small amount of time. Why would mm. I trust anything that that hasn't been around longer than my kids? Why are you talking? <laughs> I'm gonna play CDC, okay? I'm okay, gonna be the CDC. Go okay. You're misleading the audience. Go ahead. What you mean it's only been oh, but- been, been worked on two years and that you feel that that's not enough time for us to vaccinate this this pandemic to where, where people are dying, dying at a mass rate and it's hurting our America. Go ahead. Well, You're okay. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to go there, it's only been what a year and a few months since it's been in the States where we were like globally shut down. Right. Cause it started in around March, correct. Of 2020. Correct. But yet it's only okay. a year and a lot of people yeah. have died more than any it's other. True any other pandemic that has ever happened it stopped the whole so world true. and so this is something okay. that has to happen because we can't have everybody at home sick right okay that's great but it's also only been uh produced or whatever not even a year totally fully 
not even out a year. And who's to say that they properly... But it had to be mass-produced. Yeah, it had to be mass-produced, but how how do you know that it was fine? Because there was no no, um, test time. Well, we t- we've been testing so we, we well, well we've been testing people in India for the longest. We've been testing yeah, people in India and, for and those people in India are like glowing at night. You know, I'm just you're, you're absolutely right. right. They're, they're they're growing with three saying. arms and, and four eyes. You know, you're absolutely right. right. But but hey, let's, let's go, go ahead, ahead keep on talking. Talk. Let's, let's go ahead. Okay. Now she, she are right. We, no, they, 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 they are. are no, they, they those, those people over there. And like, like I said, I love, I love my Indian, Indian people, but at the same, same time, time, it's a lot of a lot of them. They already know. There's a lot of deformity is going on. Over. Bro, they have fucking whole tumors that is covering their whole fucking face. You know what I mean? From these, just the whole their whole lineage is being injected. Anyhow, yeah. they know what's going on. Like I said, that and see, if, for me saying that, that would get me banned from her. Right. Because I'm speaking on something that they would call a conspiracy. At the same time, they know what's really going on because India is one of the test sites of the world where they all go off to dump off their injections for money making market schemes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, with okay and then you, you said you were the CDC. Um, okay, CDC. So why is it that the FDA mm. put out a thing saying that uh, be leery of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? Well, that's Are we the not food. telling you not to get it? Well, that's the food administration, and they're at war with us. See, listen, we actually deal with biohazard chemical and waste that they have no <laughs> knowledge about. They're just food. They let bugs go through your food if they don't tell you that. A certain amount right. of percentages. You okay. know, when you eat your spaghetti, it got some fly larva all right. on your noodles right. and you guys, if but... you don't strain your noodles, you're going to swallow the maggots. So, hey. <laughs> What are but they you telling guys you, buddy? have to be approved by them, correct? Approved by them? No, we're the CDC. We deal with medicine. Okay. And, yeah, and but health. So most medicines have to be approved by the FDA, correct? FDA? Yeah. To a certain extent, yes. At the same time, we're okay. the scientists. We're the ones who mm. actually do the work. Okay. Mm. Well, we, that's we, great. We, I still don't trust we you. We determine. So. <laughs> ah, you don't trust us. But we got, I can't pronounce her last name. Clobuch. Klobuchar? Or whatever her last name is. We got her on our team, and she's going to go ahead and make sure that what we deem is right uh-huh. and who we deem to be ill speaking against anything that has to do with this movement because not just this is about, oh, protecting your health. It also has to deal with a money-making marketing scheme because Very all of those money. who have created, and we've already reported on this, 12 billionaires have been made out of this Moderna, Johnson and Johnson and Pfizer program. So it appears to be, hey, and I'm no longer CDC. I quit. Fuck CDC. I'm back G because I couldn't be with them because again, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a wide target scheme. When you when you're asking me again, allegedly, this is not a fact. So again, this is not a fact. I mean, again, we we gonna we definitely gonna catch a strike. I don't give a fuck. But Where it's going with this? I, I I'm I'm going is that because she asking. You know what I mean? When you're dealing with this, is that we are we are being lined up. This is I told you. This is a COVID night. We've never had a COVID night. This is a COVID night. Fuck the zombie apocalypse. We're actually getting into some COVID tonight, and because this is a COVID night. And what is happening around the world, even as you see the NFL. Look at the NFL. Look at the NFL. Yeah. The NFL is now saying that, look, if a person is allegedly the person who gives everybody COVID, how could they tell who gave who COVID? The team come down with it because they're making too much money, too much is at stake for, for players to be missing games behind the shit. It's too much protocol in effect that that they can all take, you know what I'm saying? To, to Let me ask you this. Nakia, do you give a fuck about football? Not at all. No. Do you give a fuck about COVID? Not, not at all. <laughs> I Does mean, it? let me not say that. Let me not say that. Because I had a brother who died of complications from COVID last year. And I also have a brother, a, my baby brother, who had COVID, but didn't have any of the, you know, maybe like the loss of taste. 
and smell, but okay. nothing else. So, so now, I, I, I'm on. Um, okay, now so he now. was asymptomatic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. So now we're getting somewhere, because it appears that when somebody has this, what they call COVID, they all have a symptom of no taste, no smell. Yeah, that's, one, that's, that's some of the symptoms. That appears to be the, the, the COVID that, that I've never experienced or that, that, another, that people have never experienced. So when you catch that, I can say, okay, damn, that's what COVID is about. Which one oh, is, no what, taste, what, no smell. What, what, now, what version did they catch? Now, now again, now that's what we're about to get into, the versions. Uh, Nakia, you said you had, and I, I hate to even hash over this, but you said that you had lost somebody. That yeah, my, I, my oldest brother died in February, um, but they didn't, they didn't classify it as COVID because they didn't. It was February, so we didn't really hospitals and everything didn't have like the medical codes and all those things for COVID. So it says that he died of pneumonia, which so 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 now like now let me ask you this are you aware of hospitals having incentives to diagnose those with covid very much very okay. much so so i'm not speaking I'm, i wasn't saying anything earlier that was just made up out of my own head no, <laughs> no and we no. were like we were i wasn't reaching in the chat no, I, I, I just no. want to say i wasn't reaching <laughs> And just saying bullshit because I just want to sound no because I mean and not just you five other people might think that I'm just nah, I'm we, just talking we, some bullshit when I say we know they that, actually we, get we incentives know that for, of course we for should. label no you might know that but everybody may not know that and I just and she just clarified it I just want just it to be clear because again our, what I'm saying five is that our freedoms is is about to be taken bro you may not care I care. Because I, I have a lot to say against this shit. I have a lot to say that, nigga, I'm not with it. I would hope that those who are smart enough to say, you know what, if your body can survive it, survive it. If it can't, then you're just probably going to be fucked because they're going to do, it's already been done. It's not something that you're catching. If it is something that's out there, they probably already released it in the air. And it's uh, hands up and balls out for whoever's going to catch it and whoever's not, it's not. But I'm gonna tell you, cause I actually be in some of these pharmacies. I ain't even gonna front, yo. And I'm gonna tell you, a lot of motherfuckers who's getting these injections is white people, cockazoids. Yeah. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're rushing to get these. They're, they're rushing to get these. And then I see older, what they call black, I call Negroids, out there mm -hmm. getting these shots. That's it. I don't see a lot of young people and the young people I see is the younger kids getting forced by their parents so they don't have an opportunity to say no but I don't see anybody in our age group fucking with that. Mm -mm. I'm, just I'm just being, being real. real. And, and so, so that, that lets, lets me know, know that we, we, we are, are the ones who are keeping this shit, shit like alive to where we don't, don't have to take alive, uh, no, no keeping it alive, alive to where nigga, we ain't forced to, to, to all give in because once we give in it's over with what, what, what's the, that, that means everybody that means everybody, everybody uh, that, that means everybody's, means everybody's been, been injected and in whatever is the, more of a chance to live and see, not again that's your view right that's your that's no i'm no but since you're asking but i'm asking is that alternative so but is that the fact though is that what you're saying that if if though if we all get injected, that's going to keep everybody safe. So that means everybody's going to be safe from what they call coronavirus. You got a better chance of living. This shit yeah. won't kill you. I've been living now five. It ain't killed me yet. Yeah. It's just yeah, yeah. It's just. But I'm going to die. Hold on. But but the one thing is that everybody's going to pass. Everybody's going to transition on to something. I, 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 I regardless, there is no. I get that. If you don't nothing. take the shot, I, okay, I get that. If you don't take the shot, but. What's the uh, alternative years from now? But what the is ones that did? Alternative, I don't need the or, shot. Or the ones that did. But I don't need the shot. So when I need the shot, maybe then that's when we can probably talk about a shot. But I probably still wouldn't take the shot like my man from Louisiana did. Because, again, your body is either going to fight whatever they released, allegedly, Kid, or it's me, not. Let me ask you this. If you was like my man earlier, if you came down with it <laughs> and you was hospitalized, to the point where you needed a ventilator machine and you survived after you 
get readmitted, I mean, uh, when you get released or whatever, would you take the shot afterwards? You asking me? Yes. Absolutely not. Okay. See? Absolutely not. And that, and it goes back to if I have done all this, and yes, I might have been on a ventilator. Yes, I, you know, they flipping me over and everything. Like you said, the lung compressions and all that stuff. Well, but at the end of the day, after I've done all that. Huh? Yeah, they telling you that your, your immune system isn't strong enough to fight off the virus. Once again, would you take the shot? No. So you'll go, you'll go through the whole process again? I mean, logically, I wouldn't go through that process again. Mm, I, heard I that. wouldn't go through that process. I wouldn't mm. go through that process again because my body, if my body fought it off, that means that my immune system is awesome. It might be needing a little well, bit more, well, like, building. Well your, well, your body didn't fight it off. It, it fought it off with the help of the of the machinery in the hospital. Well, see, the, the, so. the ventilator is only helping my lungs stay open while my body, my immune system and all that mm -hmm. stuff fights everything up. So the, the, so, but I still wouldn't, period. Nah, I, I wouldn't. I hear that. I, I definitely, I definitely can relate to that. Like, like I said, I mean, this is not about influence. And so, like I said, even though this is a touchy thing when you're dealing with the zombie apocalypse, yes, COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, cracking open the actual corona. Yes, yes, yes. It's a touchy situation, but something that's out there who knows what it is and we're not here to mislead or steer anybody into don't take the shot or to take the shot the only thing that we're doing i can't pronounce your last name senator but is to still want to hold on to freedom of speech and say hey some of us just may in our weird spooky conspirator mind say man look let me just hold off a little bit let me give them maybe 10 years down the line and if they're all right, cool. If not, and something is happening, then it's just something we can talk about. It. But you're not, exactly. you're not just can't inject me with anything because I hate to give away some secrets, but man, I ain't took no shots. And I don't know since I was a kid. So if you ever needed to take shots, I ain't take them shots because I never had to, bro. I didn't even go to school. But anyhow, <laughs> it's another note. You took shots. Bro, when the last time I took a shot? Well, I don't know. I said, I, 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 I didn't say I never took no shots. I said I haven't took no shots since I was a kid. See, you you like to play semantics. I'm just being real with you. And my parents is watching the show, so they know. I haven't took no shots and since I was like a kid. Bro, since, and, and, and I had chicken pox. I wasn't one of those kids that never had chicken pox. I had chicken pox. You see? So, I, hey, you ever had chicken pox? Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You're old, nigga. See, all us old motherfuckers, we had chicken pox. That, you had chicken no, pox, too. No, no. No, Nakia? No? No, I've never had any childhood. Oh, shit. You never had the chicken pox? Never had anything. Chicken pox, measles, mumps, mm. nothing. Mm. Well, mumps, you probably, yeah, you, you probably would have been some, yeah, mumps is not the thing. Kept, but chicken pox, neither, though, too. You know, five, you had chicken pox. You remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah, my sister had it. Mm, yeah, me and my brother had that. You know what I mean? Big ass bubbles on your shit. You know, if you ever read the Bible stories and you ever heard of Job. Oh yeah. Heard, of course. You ever heard of Job, Nakia? Of course. Yeah. You 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 know the boils that Job had on his body? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That was chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit used to be all over you and itching and scratching and then you you know you have to put that little white little cream on you. You know what I mean? But now yeah. they give you guys something and they, I guess, you guys don't get it anymore, right? Who's you guys? Not you. I'm talking about them because she says she never had it. But the, but the younger youth, my kids never had it. My kids don't, never had chicken pot. Yeah, they, they, they get vaccine for it. So and, 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 that's, and that's what I'm trying to tell you exactly. And that's what we're getting to is that, again, some vaccines have been proven over the years to work. So I'm not against vaccinations, but some vaccinations, especially when you get into the spooky 2020 and beyond the year of the vision and resetting it's of just, the system. It's just the flavor of the month and, and like anything else. <laughs> See this guy. For real. <laughs> shit, that shit is. It's like the flavor of the month and, and motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, rebelling and shit. 
Yeah. You know, against change. And well, I'm. Am I a rebel against change? Because yeah, I feel like I'm uh, for change, just not. I mean, it's, it's just like I said earlier. Just about not the, about about the seatbelt laws. Everybody was against it. Like, you know, fuck it. Nigga, if I want to crash it and, and take a chance of my life being let um, with that type of attitude, instead yeah, well, of just motherfuckers in AZ it. still ride motorcycles with no helmets. Yeah, you know, it's crazy shit. You know, anyhow. Okay, five. It's, let me ask you this, five. You like you love wrestling, right? You all about the wrestling, right? You know it. Mm, that nigga right. wrestling all it. Okay, so, right. So if somebody came and and made this this rule or this mandate that you couldn't get in to uh, see a wrestling show, like and like you said, you love it. Like you couldn't even be he, he thought of as a part of wrestling unless you pulled your front two teeth out. Everybody had to do that. I thought she was going to say, let's have that, to be vaccinated. Nigga, that's some pain, nigga. You, no. You, no. But, but, no. But, no. But so I'm, you can never, ever, ever deal with it, watch it, anything, unless you did this. Oh. Oh. I'll, I'll find another way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, me, let me be real with you, nigga. I'll, I'll let find me, another let me be real with you, nigga. Yeah, I'm, I'm, can I speak yeah, for you, Bob? Please. Can I speak for you, Bob? Let her know. Yeah, let me, let me be real with you. <laughs> yeah. Even though me and this nigga get into it all the time, I'm gonna be real with you. This nigga is the most electrifying man in streets and neighborhoods. This is the only motherfucker I know in my life. <laughs> I swear to you, and whatever God you believe in. This motherfucker can get into anywhere at any time, and when he says, let's go, we're gonna get in, I promise you, this nigga is getting in. You may not follow to get in, but he's getting in there. I, I second the emotion. Okay. So that well, let's just okay. Let's say you couldn't. Five. You didn't have that that magical power or whatever. You couldn't. Hmm. Well. Shit. You would you would think like that's an asinine type. Yeah. It, that's, yeah, but, but it gotta be a big event. It just can't be no fucking. <laughs> this is wrestling. Period. Like you could never never partake of something that you love ever again. Hmm, that's a good question. Nigga, if you couldn't partake... Nikki, can I ask that for you? Yeah, nigga. If you couldn't partake in something that you couldn't love again, uh, how would you... How would you maneuver your life? Yeah, how would, would you... Would, would how would you evolve or devolve? I would, I would adapt to it. I would, I would pull my shit. I would get my shit pulled. And then, uh, about a week later, I would probably go to the dentist. <laughs> so you will pull find a way. So wait, <laughs> so you go to the... Yeah, I will find a way. He said he pulling. I will, I will. I will find a way. I will get my shit. You wouldn't pulled. think that that's I, an I, asinine I, I, type I, I, rule, huh? You wouldn't think that that's an asinine type rule. Like, how could somebody yeah, take? You didn't, ask, you didn't ask me if I think it was an asinine rule. You asked me. What I did. I, I asked you that. I, I asked you that afterward. Of course it's an asinine well, rule. Well, hold on. You know what? Don't answer that, Five. I got yeah, something for it's, you, it's, Nakia. It's, 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 it's oh, dang. Yeah, you ready to play a game? <laughs> oh, shoot, yes. And it's time for Golf Like It Is. Are you ready to play? All right. Let's play, Nakia. So you want to ask Five some questions. Why don't we ask <laughs> you some questions? And you're actually on Call It Like It Is. So let's get ready to play. All right, Nakia. Tonight... We're either running this animal over or doing our best to avoid killing it. You ready? Running it over or doing our best to avoid killing it. Yes. All right. Dog. Uh, what you doing? I'm saving it as much as I could. Okay. Cat. Uh, I'll consider it. <laughs> Turkey. Uh, I'll run it over. You run it over? Yeah. A duck. Run it over. You run over a duck? Yeah. Mm. Pigeon. Oh I'll run it over. Deer. Run it over. You I'll had deer? It. Deer. Uh I'll try and save it. You try to save it. So you would avoid hitting the dog. Maybe a cat. You're running over a turkey. You're running over a duck. You're tearing over a pigeon. And you're trying to save a deer. 
Yeah. All right. Now you know in some in some cities and states you can't you can't run over a turkey. You go to jail. Yeah, but this is a scenario where like it ran out <laughs> while I was driving, right? Yeah. This is where you do your best to try to avoid it. You you see, you said you would avoid hitting the dog. You know, yeah, I see a lot of a, I, I see a, I see a lot of dead dogs on the road. I see more dead dogs than turkeys. I see more dead dogs than ducks. You know, yeah, there's ducks true. that there, 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 there's ducks right here in my by my pond that be right there in the middle of the road before I go to work. And when I drive, the motherfuckers be right in the road, and other people be right there too. Nobody ever runs over the duck. They 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 sit there and they either do their best to move or they wait for the ducks to get up and move to the side before they run them over. A dog, I be seeing all kind of insides of the dog on the street. Cats, same thing. Unfortunately, I do too. <laughs> Just saying. Anyhow, let me ask you this. If God and the devil has been fighting since existence, based on your view, who's winning the fight? God. Okay. Okay. What TV event moved you the most out of these choices? I'm going to say that again. What TV event moved you the most out of these choices? Shaka Zulu. Roots. Colors. Birth of a nation. Glory. Lean on me. Temptations. Or five heartbeats. Oh, dang it. Which one moved me the most? Um, I'll repeat them. Shaka Zulu. Mm -hmm. Roots. Roots, okay. Colors. Birth of a nation. Glory. Lean on me. Temptations. Five heartbeats. Temptation. Temptation. Okay. Okay. Five. You want to say something on that one? For me? Oh, man. Roots. Roots? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I ain't even going to lie. I'm going to be real with you. I, I actually agreed with, with Nakia, with Temptations. That, that movie and that, that, that whole little series or whatever you call it, it it was heart feeling. It was it was definitely heart touching. It it made it all. But anyhow, if you could be reborn again, would you come back as the opposite sex or the same? Oh, the opposite. Why? I'm not trying to have no periods, I have no kids, none of that again. <laughs> so you think that men have it easier? Hell yes. Why? Uh, because we give life, like we give birth, the and body she, contorts and is in total and utter pain. And she knows that y'all women are crazy creatures. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. You know that. Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm going to say this is that I don't, I don't think that women have that, that all the way right. I think women fail to realize that, that the world bends for women. Everything that is done in this earth is done at, at for in regards to a male is done for the the eye of a woman. Point blank period. Everything, whether he's trying to be successful or whether he's trying to be a showboat, whether he's embarrassed of being a failure or whether he is trying to be the the most outstanding, it's done for a woman. Now, if you have an imbalance or a mental whatever and you whatever, whatever, then it's something different. But at the same time, you definitely, women, if you think having a period and having a baby is the worst that y'all have to deal with, try being a man who, when women be playing games with is and all the other shit and just all kind of just the laws and just, yeah, the, the way everything bends and, and yeah, it's a whole different world for women and men. And we can definitely talk about that on another, you know what I mean, on another episode, but yeah, you're going to start some shit with that one. <laughs> well, that's your opinion, and you're free to it, but <laughs> <That's so laughs> when it's a fact, you let me know. 
Let me ask you, yeah. you, you ready? You, you really, you really ready to wake up being a man every day with your dick on hard and want to fuck the girl that's next to you, and then she'd be like, "No, I'm tired, no," or just not, just no. But in the beginning, she was fucking you five, ten times a day. But your dick is on hard every single day when you wake up early morning. This is clockwork. There is no. It's not hard. It's hard all the time. Clockwork, and you're ready, but you may not. You ready to be a man and deal with the. The having to be in that position and, and, and that oh ridicule of oh I don't want to do this because they, they you see what I'm saying you don't want to be a man. Let, let, let me let me stop you there. I'm a Scorpio, so uh -oh. Uh -oh. as long as I come back as a Scorpio, uh -oh. <laughs> we all good. I'm a Scorpio too, so I already know. You see, yeah. <laughs> what do you find? So yeah, I, I'm what willing to do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm sad. Mm. Those sages, I say, I feel you, but yeah, the Scorpios are something different. Yeah, times too. But but that's 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 what it is. See, it's difference when you're being a man. When you're actually a man, and you have to deal with a certain things that men have to deal with, it changes the ball game. You know what I mean? And, and it, it, you know, being born the wrong man, you might not. You, you're gonna wish you was a woman. Again. Anyhow, we got we got to get rid of a cartoon right now, Nakia. Oh no. Yep, it's that time. And when I say get rid of, I mean this one will not be coming back, so you're going to have to choose wisely. All right? Okay. G.I. Joe, Thundercats, Voltron, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Simpsons, American Dad, Scooby-Doo, Jetsons, Flintstones, or He-Man? Damn. That's easy. Not for you. Uh, uh, I can hear my husband in there watching it, so if I say the wrong one, I might have to sleep in my daughter's room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, why, he, wait, 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 which one does he like first? He, he likes G.I. Joe, He-Man, Thundercats, like all those, oh, which are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. But mm, I could live without American Dad. American Dad? So yeah. What yeah. about you, Vi? Oh, I was gonna say Teenage Mutant Ninja. <laughs> that was my favorite cartoon, oh, my shit. <laughs> shit. You're not getting rid of my Donatello, that's what we're yeah, not doing. Leonardo, Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo was my G, you know what I mean? But not nah, but but you said you said American Dad. American Dad. So you don't like American Dad. Now you know that's some funny shit. No, no, no. I actually loved it, but I mean if we we all of them are dope, and if I would have said GI Joe, my husband probably would have shot me. So yeah, 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 um, I'm gonna go with American Dad. Now the American Dad, I don't know. American Dad is nice, but hey, it's yours. Call it like it is. That's what it do. Let me ask you this: Finish this sentence for me. If I was the sole ruler of this planet, I would first. If I was the sole ruler of this planet, I would first. Uh, let me let me say it again just to give you that energy <laughs> if I was the sole ruler of this planet I would first I can't say what I want to say because I know my husband and my kids are watching <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man I would I don't even like I would I would <laughs> I would want to uh get to know all my subjects better. All your subjects? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, uh, you would want to get to know Okay. So rule of the planet, okay. Which one of these <laughs> restaurants should have went out of business a long time ago? Jack in the box? Church's chicken? Del Taco, Carl's Jr., Wiener Snitchel, or Dairy Queen? Church's chicken. Mm, let me ask you, five, do you agree with that? <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes church's chicken be 
tasting good sometimes. Like yeah, when you be you like, no I don't eat yeah, that. Yeah, as long as you don't get no thighs. Only little wings and breasts or whatever. But, that, but, um, but yeah. yeah. So, did you want to know why I picked churches? I, I was going to ask you why. Why, why oh, would okay. you? Why would you pick churches over Wiener Central? Uh, because anywhere where you can get ten pieces of chicken for like two ninety nine, some got to be wrong. Stop exaggerating. No, she's right. She's right. She said ten pieces for two ninety nine. She's right. She's right. I mean, the same thing. I'm dead ass. You in the hood? I'm I'm dead ass. Like ten pieces, you know, four biscuits, and you might get some sides for about three, four dollars. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. That's like you know. I hear you should never go to a, a, a 24 hour, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> a 24 hour, you know what uh, I mean? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. We forget where we come from. So hey. Oh, wait. Hey, no, but she, she's definitely she's definitely right, though. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like churches. That's convenient, man. You know, like like sometimes, oh, you know what I mean? If you can what get all that doing bad? at that price, it may just be. What something. about when you're doing bad? I mean, yeah, no, yeah, I'm. I you. Hey, when you're doing bad, you're doing bad. But it's it's a red flag. Now, if I can go into the store and have to pay ten dollars for three pieces of chicken to to take home and cook, but I can go get ten pieces for three dollars, that's a red flag. I feel you. No, that's that's definitely a fact right there. You know what I mean? So, Church's Chicken is the one that you say should have been out a long time ago, not Jack in the yeah. Box. Mm mm. Mm. Even not though I don't del, eat those, I don't eat those places a lot. No, but not, church not del taco. Mm, no, nah, they got some good chicken quesadillas. What about Carl Jr. Del tacos out here? Yeah, they did. They got them Where? in Tolleson. Carl Jr. Yeah, okay. Tolleson. Uh, Carl uh, Jr. is okay. Carl Jr. And what about it's Dairy okay. Queen? If I would have said Dairy Queen, he probably would have killed me because he loved nah, his blizzard. They love Dairy Queen. Love it. You know, they do. Hey, they do have the best ice cream, so. You know, do you agree? The shakes or Sonic? Which one you going? Uh, I don't fuck. I have the kind of nigga one. You no, know, Sonic. You've never had a Sonic shake? No. Nah. Never had a Sonic shake? No. Nah. A Dairy Queen shake? No. Nah. You've had a Dairy Queen shake, Nikia? Yes. Uh, how about a Sonic shake? Uh, Sonic. I probably had it once, maybe. For those of you that don't but know, I Sonic. Sonic is the restaurant where they used to come out with the skates on. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't do that no more because motherfuckers couldn't skate and do You know what I mean? <laughs> but that was the restaurant. They tried to be classic and it was classic for a while and, you know, it did what it did. Kind of like the, the Happy Days, right? How they used yeah, to do, exactly, right? Something like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. But you, they didn't come out with the little apron. Well, they did come up with apron, but it was yeah. more. It was on skates. Yeah, they were on skates. They were on skates. Same thing. Let me ask you this, Nakia. What's your favorite podcast? Oh, come on now. Cheese okay. mystery show. Hey, Whoa. you could have said <laughs> Hassan Campbell. Hey, you know. Mm. You, wow. you could have said Kwame Brown. No, I'm you good. Could've <laughs> said, you could have said, uh, who else is out there? You know what it is. I mean, it's a lot of motherfuckers out there, you know, and I'm not hating on none of them. I'm just saying because I watch some of these motherfuckers, so I'm like, hey. Yeah. We're just G's yeah, mystery you. show. Our I mean, world review. You speaking on a fuck boy. Hey, no, you're not a fuck boy. I, like I say, he got some points, man. He said a lot of points. You know what I mean? He just, he just a reference point now because he's he said a lot of shit that he he makes real himself. Name is real name is but I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. You know, he 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 likes to double talk. So I'm gonna say. Fast He's a fast hey, Just because you talk loud, let look directly into the camera, <laughs> nigga. Don't make you right. Hey, hey, let me, you legit, let me, nigga. Hey, let me, let me, let me do him though. Fuck boy. Let me, but because I'm gonna tell you the truth. He's a double talker. Yeah. Nigga. So, so Fuck let me, let me shit. double talk because I'm being real with you. This is some real shit. No, this is some real shit though. Um, I mean, he be off, but I like. Yeah, you be on some bullshit too yourself. Hey. It is what it is. You know what I mean? That nigga's entertaining. And so, with that entertainment, Nakia, how about this? Let me ask you this. When you hear the word agenda, what comes to mind? When I hear the word agenda, uh, mm -hmm. I hear what comes to mind. A plan. A plan that's been 
um, thought out for a while. A plan that somebody wants to come to, how do you say that word? Fruition? Fruition. Mm-hmm. Is that how you say it? That's exactly yeah. what it is. Come true. It, it happens. Yes. For us small folks. <laughs> yes. Keep, small keep folks. it simple, man. Yeah, all of a sudden she using big words. Well, why, why can't we be big folks? We got to be the small people. Yeah, oh, please, man. So you mean Negroids are small or Caucasoids or the Mongoloids? Or... No, no, so we just small people. Uh, we take small people. So, it ain't like she doing this from her desk in the West Wing. <laughs> How you know? You don't know where I'm at, thank you. <laughs> okay, then. Well, since you insist... Um, where well, art thou? Let me let me ask you this, Nikita. What 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 agenda out there that will come will come to your mind? Like this is this is just a free throw, free a free thought of yours. You know, um, what agenda will come to your mind out there that you think has some kind of conspiracy attached to it that would make you say, "Oh man, this shit right here, you need to hear about this." What conspiracy has an agenda attached to it that you would make you say something like that? Um, honestly, I think I think everybody has some type of agenda. I mean, everybody do. But what conspiracy? Like what conspiracy? Massive. Well, of course, it, it could be any. It could be any conspiracy. It doesn't have to be what we're talking about tonight, but it can be about what we're talking about tonight. It can be. Yeah. Well, that's the first and foremost one that would come, you know, to my to my head, you know, first first is that one like that's one of the biggest right now conspiracies um that has an agenda okay so covid is the it would be the conspiracy and then what do you think would be the agenda behind it because this will the agenda is to get to to get everyone like it's to get everyone to, to take be shot. on their one accord. <laughs> no, to be on one, like, we're we're free. Like, we're people who are free, and we're supposed to have our opinions and voice them and, and be different. But it's like they're trying to rally us all up to be, you know, flock. To me. That's my opinion. Okay. To be flock? I mean, to be a flock, she means, she means to be sheeple, meaning yeah, sheeple, yeah. meaning motherfuckers right. following the, the spell of Leviathan. But are they doing a suggestion? No, 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 no. See, yeah, they are suggesting, but it's the way that they're suggesting, and there's exactly. ways that you can suggest that turns into, you know, undercover persuasion and, and being moved in that direction. Peter and that's Piper what they're doing. Played his- Peter Piper picked pick, pick the pipe pipers. You know what I mean? The motherfucker. <laughs> hey, don't hey. never say that again. Hey, that motherfucker, don't you know what I mean? That, that's the flute player, dog. You know what I mean? The motherfucker that's got the spell of Leviathan. No. And he's leading the kids and leading the, the masses off Peter into the Piper. world. Yeah. Nigga, Peter Piper, pick whatever. Nigga, you know. Man. Same fucking thing. Peter Piper, nigga, is the motherfucking Piper, nigga. He's the bagpiper, nigga, that's leading these motherfuckers with the spell of Leviathan. I don't give a fuck how you word your say it. And and that's what happens, the trance. You know what I mean? It goes on. So let me ask you five. What agenda out there? Nakia says COVID has is a conspiracy and it has an agenda attached to it. What is a conspiracy out there that's different than COVID that you would attach an agenda behind it? Um that would be uh the MLK and mm, JFK assassination. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. COVID is a good one. MLK is a good one. So now let me ask you first the MLK. What would be the agenda behind assassinating Martin Luther King? Why? Oh, man. That's, that's, that's what I would like to know. You know? Why, why, why do you think they would do that? What would be the purpose? What, what, what do they benefit from assassinating Martin Luther King? white society at that time uh, benefited a lot, you know, that, that that brother had a lot of power at that time. You don't think he has more power being dead than alive? Because it, it's like, like a lot of people aren't really thought about until they're yeah. dead in that way. Yeah. And then when they're dead, they become 
immortalized. They True. become a martyr. They become he, he insane in memory right. to where now you got to make holidays of these motherfuckers. You got to constantly have these motherfuckers brought up in your thoughts. So why kill them? Well, just let them be alive. Let this nigga die of old age and fuck up somewhere down the line. And we could say, we got you, nigga. Now everything is stripped like Bill Cosby, all that other kind of shit. Why? What's the agenda behind killing Martin Luther King? What did they gain? What did they gain out of killing Martin Luther King? Uh, they stopped us. They slowed down the whole movement. Nakia, what did they, same thing with five to say, said they stopped the whole movement. Nakia, what did they, what, did, what, what do you think it was an agenda that you could attach to the killing of what five says, Martin Luther King? Uh, I don't, there could have been many agendas, so I don't, I yeah. can't. There could have been many agendas. Yeah. I believe that there was an agenda, but I, I couldn't course, speak so. on even yeah. trying to think of what the agenda could have been. Yeah. Yeah. That, that man possessed too much power at that time. Okay, then you said JFK. What would be the agenda behind assassinating JFK? Uh, he, was a, he was a big push for the civil rights movement at that time. He was a big backing and follower of of Dr. Martin Luther King and and he and he was he was trying to pull the cover out on um uh uh the, the, group the, the society, secret society yeah, secret society like Illuminati's or whatever. Uh so yeah. Yeah, so he had to go. Hmm. Gotcha. So you're saying he was going to be a rebel, a freedom fighter, he eventually turn out, turn coat, uh, hey, I'm for the Negroids, and I don't yeah. give a fuck, and yeah. we're going to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they put him on full display. So let me ask you, since the kids said COVID and you said Martin Luther King and JFK, do you think JFK and Martin Luther King outweighs the COVID agenda? Of what Nakia said, no. or or do you or do you think that they just both played a part in what's happened, or there is no agenda at all when it comes to COVID? And it it's yeah, agenda I mean, when it comes shit, to the shit got released. The shit got here somehow. So uh, I'm pretty sure at the end of the day there was an agenda from at somehow at some point. I would say common sense tells me that. Let me ask you this, Nakia, since you said COVID was an agenda, you still with me? Yeah. If it is an agenda, how can you override an agenda in that magnitude? If COVID is really an agenda and they're really pushing it to do something, how, how can you override it? What can you do? If you know that it's happening, because that's how you defeat the problem. First, you got to be aware of it. And when you be aware of it now, how, how can you maneuver around it? What can we do to fight it? If it is well, the issue. biggest, the biggest part would be for you know the masses to be aware of it, mm. the the, uh, the majority really? to be aware, mm. because that how how can you how can you fight if it's just three or four people who are aware? Like you need everybody to be aware. Do your research and everything, but be aware, because once the the majority is aware of everything, then we can fight, and then. That's a different situation because anything else, they're going to win. And then we're all going to be, like you said, sheeple. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're not going to be the shepherds anymore. You actually said it, you know what I mean? You, you, I couldn't say it any better. Like, you're basically right when you're talking about that direction. It's people, bro. You know what I mean? You, that's, all you, that's all you could do. You know what I mean? And anything else. What is it? Because everybody else is going to become sheep, or everybody's going to follow the pack, and 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 because most people are not going to care to really take the initiative to to really be aware unless somebody comes to them for the most part and and gives them some information. But at the same time, they still don't take it because most people are herders. I mean, not herders. They're part of the herd. They're not the herder. And you really, I'm not saying everybody should be the herder, but when you see a group of people just kind of magnitude and they're following straight to the same path of a way, then they're being really led astray. The piper is really playing the flute and they're really following the tune. Nobody is ever able to be individually separate and stand back and say, wait a minute, 
why are all of them going in that direction? And then there's a fucking cliff that if they keep going, they're all going to fall over. But they don't see it or, because they're all talking right, about or what's happening. Or there's a slaughterhouse. Now, right, or too, there's a slaughterhouse even, they're being led to. And that's even worse because all the animals that we eat today, nigga, they all get led, and what she just said, to that slaughterhouse. They all get fed grays thinking that they're going to grow up to be happy and having sex and fucking other cows. No, man. Yeah, not the next thing. And then once again, that's hammers. an agenda. <laughs> that's a low-key agenda as hammers. well. <laughs> that's a fact. No, see? And that's what I'm saying. You're shaking on yeah, it. Okay, so what is it? <laughs> is Nakia playing semantics? Am I playing semantics? Let's see, no, that's just your opinion. You're right. <laughs> Everything is based on opinions, and, and you're right. This is all opinions except for G's news and certain stance, you know. Those are facts to a certain extent. But, I mean, uh, uh, because when I'm reading the news, it's the news. I mean, again, when we're talking about allegedly, then again, we know that it is. But again, I, I, you, you, you know, you're being technical. You want me to admit when I'm just, just talking my bullshit. You and I'm, and I, all of this, I'm talking my bullshit because, again, none of this is final. It's all speculative. It, it, it may happen, it may not. But the whole thing is for you to get a whole overlook and understanding of what can come out of this. Because this isn't just something to play around with. Like, yeah, we're joking and we're having a humorous conversation about COVID-19 and the outcomes and possibilities and the laws and who's having this and who's having what. And at the end of the day, it's real. Obviously, Five says he lost somebody. Nakia says she's lost somebody. So yeah, people obviously have lost somebody to what they call COVID. But at the same time, we are definitely seeing certain restrictions and certain institutions being implemented within all of this that isn't normal. And it's changing the way we become regular, I guess, even though if you want to be regular, but what I thought was regular. Walking outside and just enjoying life and just breathing, and now you have to really have a a determination of I gotta get a mask or I gotta get an injection. I gotta really have this a part of my life as if they release something, maybe allegedly in the air, to where yeah. I have a probability of coming down with something that may. Well, well, wearing a mask is really that bad compared to. Yes, wearing a mask is that bad because why are you? You're not designed. Taking a shot or. Or, or catching some shit. Wearing a mask is horrible because your body's not designed to breathe back in carbon dioxide at all. You're 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 breathing. You're taking oxygen, not carbon dioxide. Because you're wearing a mask, you breathe. Yes, in because dioxide. you're breathing out carbon dioxide. That's how you resist resist resist. resist I'm a little faded, but resuscitate. Resuscitate. Bro, you is not carbon dioxide, nigga. What do you mean? Uh, you is not. How are you not? No human breathing carbon dioxide. When you, you, bro, exactly. You're not. You're not <laughs> listening. You're not, yeah, yeah, hey, listen to what I just said. Yeah, you're not listening yeah, to what you said. You okay, breathe. So, yeah, you do breathe in so, oxygen. You breathe yeah, out. You breathe exactly. in oxygen. Exactly. You breathe in. Yeah, oxygen, but you breathe and out. You breathe out carbon dioxide. Now, when you have your mask on, five, you're breathing back in the carbon dioxide that you're releasing. Just breathe out. Yeah. You, you're, you're not. You're not. Again, this isn't about wrong or right. This is just about what's happening, bro. And it's, it's, it's like, I can say, it, you, you got to not like look at it in that way of just standing still and just thinking that shit is just cool and it's, it's not cool that, they, that, they're, that they're looking out for our, our, our best benefit and it's the system going to work the way it's going to work and ah, one man can't change it or what you're saying just doesn't make sense. You got to sit back, bro, and you really got to, you just really got to just look at it and say, Doug, is this shit really going to benefit me in the long run? Is this shit really happening just out of coincidence, or is there something happening to push something urgency? Well, if you really don't care, happening. if you don't care, then then if you don't care, then you're just gonna you're gonna continue to just not care. You're gonna you're gonna you're just yeah. what I'm saying is not gonna matter. It's gonna sound like bullshit. You know what I mean? You my nigga, so we have these conversations all the time. It's gonna sound yeah. like bullshit, and so that's cool. But at the same time. I, I say, even though I'll be joking, but I'll be written inside my jokes and saying the truth. They're going to split a line between us to where one day... Well, they to. It, they've, it, been it, doing, they've been doing that <clears throat> since, since vaccines, since day one. Since when you have, you need a certain amount of shots to, to go to school. That's what I'm trying, exactly. It's the it's, same shit. It, it's just, 
But this is a different time, though. This yeah, is a time to where they're, they're rebooting just, the system. The flavor of the month, like I said earlier. But this flavor of the month, they're rebooting the system. And that rebooting the system could mean depopulizing the planet. And so when you get into that type of talk and that type of conspiracy, allegedly factual talks, then, then those type of talks get spooky and those type of talks take it to an area to where most people are probably say, man, um, no, nah, I don't know about that, so I don't believe that. I don't care about that. I don't want to hear that. That ain't real and that ain't that. When it is real and it's happening, but it's just not happening at the pace that you want it, so that's why I can't say it's a fact and I can only say it's alleged that's happening in the future because, like I say, when you're dealing with this whole C-19 zombie apocalypse COVID-19 thing, you're dealing with an institution that's being implemented in real time, our time. We're living now, so we're witnessing it. So it's happening slow. But to those that come after us, it's going to be already here, so which means it's happening fast, fast that, that they're, they're going, going to be born into, into it, to, to where we may not be cool with being barcoded. We may not be cool with having verification to show that we have been vaccinated or whatever they want to call it, vaxxed to be I allowed access to walk through certain environments. The next generation has it down pat. The next year, damn right. The next generation is going to already be born into the world. Yeah, the technology, uh, so this is where I'm trying to tell you. That, that's what I'm trying to tell you about the future. Years. No, I'm saying 15 years, 10 to 5, maybe even 10 years. We don't even have to go that far because this shit is moving quick. This shit is moving quick. So, so we could almost go 10 years. They're going to already be ready to be barcoded. Ready to be, yeah, go ahead, scan me. Go ahead, put it in me. I'm ready to just be nice. that part of androidic lifestyle. It make more sense to that generation. Exactly. So that's why I'm saying why I'm here and shit that's happening when you're dealing with health, especially something that's attached to your body, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna ban people who speak in these type of terms because <clears throat> our opinions may become facts later on down the line that they just don't want to even have even a rise of for any type of messiah whether you're a caucasoid or a negroid or a mongoloid to even to rise on the scene because some things you say inspires and that's why they say misleading because what a person says can inspire a nation it only takes one yeah every action has a reaction yeah but, but just because you're inspired all this i mean you inspire, you're inspiring for the right reason it's or not, for it's, a factual reason. Everybody doesn't inspire for the right reason or for a factual reason, but they That's inspire the for what I'm they, on. what they, what they're driving for and what they identify as correct. And those that identify with them, just like how the government, the government has those that's identifying with them as that they're with them and they're on their side. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of experiencing this a little bit right here. Hmm? I'm kind of experiencing that, <laughs> that, that, that I'm kind of experiencing that, that, that like everything I'm saying is I don't really trust the government and that that likeness. I love America, but I don't trust the government. You're kind of kind of like making me feel a little dumb because I'm kind of in this controversial conspiratorial world, but I still like into the mystery of it all and want to know what the hell's going on. And you think that, you, well, I don't say you think, but you kind of get, I kind of get the feeling that you feel that sometimes your boy be going way off because you don't really see in how I'm seeing. You don't, you don't, you don't view the same, we don't see the yeah, same views. Like, and that's why I love you, bro. We don't see the same views. If I think you're going way, way off on, yeah, mm -hmm. how, how can we? Because you think, you, a lot of times you think that when I'm saying certain things, especially when I'm talking about this future, but you, you, but yet you will agree at the no, same time I, and I, say that you see I, the future I, I, the same no, way. I, I, I agree that you you speaking from a hypothetical point of view. Uh, see, but I, I'm, 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 I'm hypothetically, but I'm you're speaking, speaking factual. No, you're not. See, you're see, not speaking see, factual. I'm speaking at factual, all. but I'm speaking hypothetically. No, you're not speaking in the facts way. at all. You're speaking <laughs> your hypothetical opinion about the future. You are not speaking facts at all. Nikia, have you ever have you ever have you ever called a fortune teller on the line before? Never. Never? You never you never no. one of those spend like a dollar ninety nine a minute. You know, you know you was talking to one right now? <laughs> no. Hey, oh I, my you, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, he, yeah, I, you was I, talking I, to I him the whole time. I can foresee the future. You know what I mean? 
You ain't got to. You ain't got to. You ain't got to charge me. I mean, you ain't got to. You ain't got to. You ain't got to pay me anything. But I definitely I ain't gonna charge you a dollar ninety nine. But I definitely can can analyze the future. <laughs> you know, I think any any real chess player and, I, and if those out there that play chess, they already know what I'm talking about. You you all can analyze the future because you see it in many 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 multiple ways with other people called dimensions. We see it in in just scenarios, the way it plays out. And the way it plays out is the way I'm trying to give you. You just don't you just don't accept it right now because it's too far ahead. It's five steps ahead to where you just like, well, right. nah, nigga, I'm right here. But I promise you, Bob, yeah, I know it's not it's not about wrong or right. But what I'm saying, that's why I say it's multiple. Remember, I'm 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 being hypothetical. Oh, are you? I thought you no. were being factual. No, because, because you're, you're, you're saying you're saying my facts is not fact. I you're saying my facts is not fact. And 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 disclosing why. No, I didn't say you were hypothetical. Um, I didn't say you were voicing your opinion. It's always, it's yeah. always so, hypothetical. So you're fact. agreeing with me. No, so it's hypothetically factual. <laughs> because I'm speaking. Did you hear that shit? I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Hypothetical factual. I'm speaking. You hear that? I'm speaking from a metaphor, but I'm also saying <laughs> allegedly all the time. So that way they, they can take it however they want to. But those that can read between the lines. They are. It's only, called, it's only called fast talking if you're listening. If you're listening, slow. That's oh not, my god! I don't, I don't, I don't care. So that's not. That's, uh, that's for you guys. I don't do all that. Anyhow, <laughs> you know what I mean. So yeah, but let me let me ask you this though, Nikia. When when overall agenda, and you're dealing with the whole COVID scenario. If it's not an agenda, and it, and it really is, it really is as real as they say. And it's really something that's going out here that's that's doing even what Five is saying that's killing a lot of people and taking a lot of lives, which we see the numbers. We've seen the numbers. We talked about on the show before. We've seen it all. How does the planet survive then if if, if COVID is really that real? If it's really the most scariest, deadliest thing that's happened on the planet that ever that stopped a whole world at one time, never been done. How can we even compete with this thing? And we wouldn't be able to, right? I don't know. I'm asking you. You're going to have to help me out on this one. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say that, I mean, if it if there's no agenda and this is just something that, that you know, occurred and everything, it then happened. if it's that, that strong and it's that deadly, then, I mean, this is not one of those, uh, what do you call them, those sci-fi shows that, you know, the... Right scientist comes out and finds, you know, this, this one thing that nobody else saw to fix the whole world. No. Then we're doomed. Most definitely. I mean, five. you have anything to touch on that one? Like, how, how do we... I, I, I agree. Motherfuckers need to, need to, need to, need to realize and, and see that shit for what it really is. And, uh, you said they need to realize. What do they need to realize? That, um, shit is actually locking people down. The human race is really in fucking jeopardy. You know? Shit. So it's either either you gon you gon mask up or you gon get the shot. Yeah. I mean either or. You gon and why just just go out there naked, random. <laughs> Is it really going out there, Brandon? I mean, what's what's the worst? <clears throat> wearing a mask? You know, China has been wearing a mask longer than anybody, right? Yeah, it just started there, didn't it? I mean, you and Trump say it better than I do. Uh, <laughs> it comes from over there, right? So if it comes from over there, and like I said, it's been released. Again, like I asked the kid, if it's the worst thing on the planet, are we not all doomed? Are we not all doomed? If, no, if anybody out there... Because there's technology that exists... You ever watch Resident can, Evil? That can prevent, you know what I'm saying? That shit you, have happen. you seen Resident Evil? It's a fucking movie. Nah, yeah. I, 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 movies, uh, when you say it like that, see, when you say it like that, are you insulting? Are you insulting my intelligence and you say no. it's a movie and you yeah. saying that Resident movie. Evil is... Yeah. It's just, just a movie to where it has no, it has no, no real, no real, no real bias into in being reality based. Yeah, you think it's gonna be fucking dogs running around with their mouths open? Uh, dogs, dogs have rabies. rabies. 
Well, dogs, dogs have, have rabies. rabies. They, they, they're showing you a scenario of rabies. rabies. And if you, you get, get bit, bit by a dog, dog that has rabies, rabies, you get rabies. Am I wrong or right? No, no. no. You see, your place of medicine right there by not even answering the question. Nakia, do you get rabies if a dog bites you with rabies? Of course. If a squirrel exactly. with rabies bites you with rabies, exactly. you get rabies. Exactly. exactly. Now, now, when you, you get, get rabies, rabies, what happens when you get rabies? You get a tetanus shot. Rabies, if it, it doesn't always work, my friend. What do you mean? What do you it mean? doesn't. That yeah, it does. Is. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. If you don't get rabies in time, then you will fucking lose your mind and you will fucking go insane and you will fucking start trying to do it. You said if you don't get rabies in time? I know, if you don't get the, the, the shot, whatever the fuck. Yeah. The, the, the you basically go the, rabbit. You go, you yeah. go rabbit, exactly. You lose your fucking mind and go insane. We, we exactly. Right? Zombie type shit. Yeah. Okay. Like, like fucking 40, 50 years ago, nigga, you know damn Oh, no, no niggas, niggas you did get, a, a fucking zombie. Nigga walk up with no money, no nothing, and let's see if if you niggas can maneuver. 
whatever the fuck, and see if you niggas can get in there and and get and get your motherfuckers who's with you in that motherfucker. This motherfucker can do it with money, no money, no tickets, with a, one ticket. He can do it. I swear to you, he can. You know what I mean? And I don't even praise you, God. Anyhow, bye. They love me. Can they find you somewhere? Uh, you know, on the IG. That's 5DZ, 5FIVE underscore DEEZE. Or on Facebook, Arrow 5 Cent Norwood. That's what they do. What they do. And you guys can always find me at in, on Instagram at G's News. Yes, G E E S N E W S. If you guys are trying to get into the show, you trying to submit, trying to even be a guest on the show, man, send in your information at G's Mystery Show at gmail.com. That's G E E S M Y S T E R Y S H O W at G, I mean, at gmail.com. Yeah, you see, you're going to say it's long. Yes, I know it's long, but I have to spell it the whole oh, damn way. Nah. You know what I mean? But G's Mystery Show, and definitely, like I said, man, we never asked you guys to hit the like button. If you enjoyed the program, now that the show is over with, you can hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down, but at the same time, hit something, because that right there is going to at least show motherfuckers was watching this shit, and we wasn't talking to ourselves. Why do you like talking to yourself? Yeah, man, with that bullshit. With that bullshit. With that being said, Nakia, I want to thank you for tapping in. You know what I mean? Thank I you. you. Always. Five with my nigga all day. Whatever it is, you know what I mean? We don't give a fuck. We have these conversations day in, day night, but we only bring it to you all once a week. It is what it is. We want to appreciate you all. Thank you for tapping in. You was watching episode 25, G's Mystery Show. Our World Review.